What's going on, guys? We here. We're very, very, very fucking early. Very early. Like an hour early. It's impressive for me. I just got up early. I need coffee though. I'm very, very sleepy. It's gonna be a slow start to stream today, guys. Now, before we do anything, don't forget, guys, daily chest. You guys do that. Do your thing. Do the thing. Get the game booted up. I'm actually pretty happy with my hair now. I like this. I like this look. It's also easy to maintain. I found that using a comb with the product makes it look fluffy. I mean, look at that. So nice, because because when I when I put it up, it just goes spiky. Anyway, like I said, it's gonna be very it's gonna be a very very slow start today. Very slow start. Especially with this this chill music. I'm digging it, but man. Sleepy. Mm. That's why I made a triple shot instead of a double shot. Mm -mm. I need the boost. Oh, that's a good start. Nope. We're good. Now. We got the bags. We did it. It only took 84 years, but we got the fucking bags. I got shit perks, though. I'm a little bit annoyed. But you can't have everything. Look, you here in the river, Charles River. I could die right now, Glenn. I'm just happy. I've never felt that before. That's crazy. I mean, I, I, I dig the whole chill vibes, but as soon as you start, like, doing weird-ass ASMR shit, like, I'm out. I'm out. Now you just creep, now you just creep me out, bro. Because it makes me feel like I've, I, I've accidentally had someone sneak into a Discord call. Oh, that's the weird, weird one with the Vsauce. You know what? Let's mix it up today. What do we got? So this is pretzel if you don't know, this is where I get my this is where I do my music. What do we got? So we're in chill right now. Chill pop? Uh, Cause you gotta look at hours. How much is in there? Mm. All tonal, all vibes. See what oh, we can see what that's like. We got chill EDM. Chill piano. Ooh. They got a lot more categories now. Chill pop, chill ADM, chill piano. I like the sound of all of those. Happy EDM, hip hop. Hype bass, oh boy. Bangers. Bit of jazz. Do you like jazz? I mean, I'm down. To, I'm down to go to jazz later. I'll be honest. Down for some jazz. Some jazz. Now, unfortunately, I think we're gonna have to start this stream finishing this because we're so close. And I know there's probably gonna be a lot of word wood around um, Restless Shores. This is like the last thing we need to get over 100 because we're 100, 100, 100. 100, 100, 100, 100. Stone cutting, I mean, we'll get there. Jewel crafting, also, we'll get there with stone cutting. Like, this is the last big thing I need to get over 100. I hate to say it, I think I'm just gonna. I think I'm just gonna get this fucking wood cutting out of the way. Because once I get it to 100, then it doesn't matter. Because then we're just doing. Then it's just word wood. And word wood's all we're interested in. Mm, yeah, we still get the crazy frame dips in town. Mm -mm. It's broccoli. We seem to be getting more frame dips than we usually do right now. Alright. Let's go to town.
Welcome to the most fun part of the game. Fortunately, we have a Star Metal Axe with increased logging XP. So it's not actually that bad. Yeah, we are getting some... Unusually large FPS drops. We turn down. Definitely like a post-processing high. Uh, so it's weird, because usually it doesn't have this problem. No. I am due for a PC upgrade, but I'm waiting. Because it's going to be a full overhaul if I do upgrade. It's going to be new. It'll be new case, new CPU, which means new motherboard, which means new DDR5 or DDR6 RAM. Probably get a new power supply while I'm at it. I won't be getting a new graphics card. Won't be getting a new cooling system. Won't be getting new drives. Yeah, the case is definitely old. The case definitely needs to re redo. And I'll probably get an ATX, not a micro ATX. I'll be honest, I just want a big old, big old ATX. Hmm. OBS usage is still only about where it usually would be. We, we, we usually have a, we usually have a little a couple frame drops in New World, but it's not it's not too significant. It's usually it's usually just when we're in the towns, but we're getting quite a lot now. I mean, we've, we've almost gone up one level already. This shouldn't take too long. It shouldn't take too long to get this last level. Oh, these last couple levels. Oh, but he, these are the bags. So I used to I, I guaranteed the extra pocket perk, so I always got that. Azoth attuned. It's not the worst one, but four percent's like not that great. Quartermaster's Burden, I feel like it's garbage unless you're endgame, when you're going to carry a bunch of armor around. P Plentiful Shells is garbage. And Lumberjack's Burden is probably the least useful of all the weight ones, really. Weight reduction ones. But, you know. Could have been worse. Main thing is we got the pockets. Basically, as long as you get the pockets, you're good. That's the main one. Everything else is just a cherry on top, really. Glitch node? Yep, glitch node. Glitch node. Because we thought it was because if you like walked away right as you cut down the tree, you make it, it's like glitches out the nodes. I didn't even walk away that time, so. I don't know. Oh, also, I didn't figure out a thing to, a ch to do the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's a problem for me. I'll have to think about that. Because it's going to have to be big as the thing. Because in addition to that, it also like covers the whole half of the screen when I open it up fully. So it's like... There's not really a way around it. Because it's like I would have to either permanently cover the entire half of the screen. I would have to adjust it every time I opened up chat. Or... Like, there's not really anything I can do about that. Hmm. I can always just set chat to not show up unless I open it. I think I can. No. I don't want to fuck with anyway. The chat window is actually very buggy. It's buggy enough as it is without me messing with it. We have to farm so much wood. I do like another two trips of leather after yesterday's stream just to get enough. It was ridiculous. Absolutely insane how much we needed. <laughs> I think I figured what I'm gonna do with all the wood. I think I turned the first batch into lumber and then all the leftover wood I just used to make charcoal. Don't know what I'll do now. Guess I'll make more lumber. Nothing to change on the map. Oh, I've almost played Reek Water too. Not that that's gonna do anything really. Flying in the settlements uh, is pretty pointless right now. Especially since there is now another fucking thing that all the sweaty tryhards are abusing is if you just mass report, you just go into the war list, you just mass report all their high level players on the war board, and it will order the they auto ban based on mass reports. So they'll just literally just automatically ban 
the entire enemy team. That's what they're doing right now to win wars. It's just, it's just pathetic, really. It's just pathetic. So yeah, our coordination discords a whole lot of people planning whether or not they want to move to other other servers, abandon syndicate, and then a whole lot of people saying, well, we're not really going to bother with wars because there's no point right now. See what happens. I mean, there's still this. It's still early in the game's life cycle. Like, I'm not, not concerned about it. But they are definitely gonna have to start doing, start doing some stuff for manufacturing balance. This is like weirdly sinister. I said they're vibes, but that's like sinister vibes. Not the kind of vibes we're looking for. You bitch. Quartermaster's bur burden is also terrible because it's like only armor. The one that reduces the cost of weight of armor. Isn't it? Is it? Or is it? No, yeah, it's only armor. It's like, come on, at least make it armor and weapons. Like, Jesus. It's so stupid. Maybe there's a separate one for weapons. They definitely need to have. That's another thing they need to look at balance wise. There's so many of the perks are terrible. Backpack is literally like. You, there's, you always want plentiful back, uh, the, the bags, the extra bag space, period. It's like a hundred times more useful than every other perk without, like, not, it's not even an argument. And then it's like, yeah, you probably want the ore weight reduction. That's probably the next best one since you can't have the bags twice. It's like, yeah, you'd want ore weight reduction. Azoth one's not terrible. The skinning weight and the fiber weights, those two also not terrible. Also not terrible. Logging's like, I mean, unless you're gonna go on a specific logging trip like I'm doing right now, it's like, it doesn't doesn't really matter. Like, <laughs> it's not that useful. And the quartermaster's burden, I guess maybe that'll be more useful at high level if you're like you're carrying around alternate gear sets. That's the only time I can think that would be useful. But the fact that it doesn't include weapons is pretty shitty. Pretty shitty. We're already 97 and a half. We're going pretty quick. So I just need to get it to 100, so we can do. <laughs> oh. <coughs> oh, so we can do word with trees. Mm -mm. So I just want, because I just don't want to run into stuff out in the rest of the shores where I'm like, oh no, I can't grab that. Now. Dude, it's so much faster with star metal tools though. The increased XP on logging is really nice too. Unfortunately, I got that on my skinning knife, but now that my skinning is 200, that doesn't really matter. As for the Azoth on Harvest, I'll be honest, a little underrated. It's actually kind of nice. So I got it on the Zax too. Because, I mean, you know, it's only one Azoth, and it's only, like, every five or six trees, but that adds up. It adds up. Probably lumberfy most of this, really. I still need lumber to make arrows and stuff. I guess I'll just sell whatever lumber's left. Two levels now. Oh, practically two levels. It's not gonna be the whole thing. Once they hit 100, I'm not. I'm not doing logging again for a while. Cause after that, the only other thing is getting 175 for the what's it called trees, which I probably can't even use for. Once I've done this, then I'm finally caught up on all my crafting stuff. Probably wanted to do some more mining trips just to get more gems for the um more gems for jewelry crafting, but we'll get around to it. We'll get around to it. <laughs> you know what? This is like vibes, but it's like half of it's like. Sinister vibes, dude. Let's see what they got for the jazz. 
Let's see what we got for the Jazz, bro. That's more swing than Jazz. Definitely more swing than Jazz. We've got a whole lot of playlists to choose from. Let's, we'll just see. That's def. I wouldn't really call that Jazz. I guess, uh, I guess that's Jazzy. What else we got? I'm just playing around with it, seeing what else we got in these categories. Beating like a electric guitar riff. That's more bluesy or funk than um jazz. It ain't got a piano or a saxophone or a trumpet, as far as I'm concerned. That's not really jazz. It's not true jazz. Mind just not bothering me. I really don't care about you. Yep, we're cool, man. We're cool. We're almost there. Damn, I can't feel like I got my tier four camp. It's cool. It's a cool looking camp, dude. I just need my flint. Um, and the portals in Great Cleave for the XP. Ooh, I have no use for this camp, but I just like it because it's cool. Look at that, my tier 4 camp. Oh, it looks so cool, it looks so cozy. So comfy cozy. Ooh, some creepers. Fungal slime. I got that increased luck. And Azalt on harvest. I need to get some more steel arrows. Which is ironic because I just fucking sold like 10,000 of them. Satisfaction, they couldn't get any other way. That's definitely not. That's like, hmm. I'm not sure who gets to decide what is the cat, what goes in the category of jazz in this. I mean, it's got a trumpet. That's jazz, right? We're almost there. Close. I see some sun creepers over there. I won't like them way over. Let's see how server transfers work out. There's also now a kerfuffle about that. Because the, I mean, one of the big things that screw in the dev team is they do not seem to be on the same page. They don't seem to have dedicated community managers, which is a pretty big problem. Because what's been happening is, like, I got screwed up by it on launch. Is like, they got multiple people all answering and responding to community questions. And half of them don't seem to have, they all seem to have conflicting information. And so no one knows what dev comments you can actually trust. This is very problematic. It's like, the Twitter account said you'd be able to transfer characters across servers. That's what they said when they were, when they were first announced. The announcement just came out now of, no, you can't do that. Now that they're coming out, now that they're coming out in a couple of days, hopefully. They said, no, that's not how it works. You won't be able to, you will not be able to transfer across service. 
which is directly in contradiction of what they said. So it's like, that's not good. Really not good communication there. Because now a lot of people are A, pissed, rightfully so, and B, it's like, now it's like, well, now we can't get into our servers with our friends without restarting our characters, so they just wasted, like, all of their launch hours. Because they couldn't handle it, they, they couldn't communicate that correctly. So what screwed me too at the sucks? They said it's like no character uh, character names were only held for about five or uh, for a few minutes for a short period of time. That was the dev comment. So it's like that's why I had my buddy hold my name on the EU server. So that way I had it on launch because they said oh it only holds for a few minutes. So as long as he just deletes the character, you'll be able to get your character name again in a few minutes. Uh, turns out that was also false information, and it's actually a 90-day lock. Yep. So he, my account name is still locked to my buddy's account for another like 80 days. It's like, just it's just it's like it's not even like oh we, we just assumed this. It's like no, that they literally had it. They literally confirmed in a dev comment saying no, it's a few minutes. And then you can also find other dev comments saying it's like no, it's 90 days. And there's also all the streamers from New World like we asked this internally and they said it was 90 days. So it's like. It's, it's really bad. They really, they need to get on top of that because that's, that's something that needs to be addressed is they need to get a dedicated community manager who only answers questions when they actually know the facts because they can't keep having these miscommunications like that. They, they can't. That's too, that's just too big of a deal to have those sort of miscommunications there. Because it's really toxic to the player base. So just effectively make them waste 80 hours because you gave the wrong information 10 days ago really really not fair just like I lost my name like I'm the salty part instead of a salty part because they couldn't do that which I mean I'm not too mad like I don't mind being the salty part it's not like a it's not the end of the world for me but it still would have been nice to have literally a salty space pirate which would have been because you kind of the underscore but I could have literally had my exact name but I, now I don't get to because because they don't have a dedicated community manager to ensure they're giving out the correct information. Yeah, we flagged Reekwater. It's impressive considering we have a few people we have in the level range enough to be able to do that. We're almost there. You almost hit it. Then we can go home and do other things. I really want to go do fishing, dude. I love the fishing in this game. The fishing in this game is super fun. It's super chill. It's like a fun little mini game. It's so cool. I love it. But problem is, it's like, if you're doing fishing, you can't do anything but fishing. So it's like, it's really profitable too. Like, there's a lot of good shit you get out of fishing. It's like, I've done no fishing. Because I'm like, oh, but I want to do this. And I want to do that. And I want to get new bags and stuff. But it's like, pretty much the, like, apart from, it's like uh, alchemy stuff and high-end cooking stuff are the main things you need fishing for. So it's like, I just haven't had a necessary reason to focus on just grinding fishing. Big sad. So I really want to do fishing. I really want to do it. I've got a really nice fishing rod. Look at this fishing rod. 10% cast distance boost to that durability. Honestly, I could have got better rolls, but that was just one I made. And I got lucky, so I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll use that. I'm only like eight fishing. I've barely done any fishing. Is this the silent jazz playlist? Oh. What's going on? No, oh, it just glitched. Okay. There we go. That was weird. Either way, this is plan for the day. I might just try out a couple more of these playlists. Chill's always a good one, but it's nice to try out some different ones to get some different... different tunes. Now that's feeling jazzy. That's a lot more jazzy.
I won't lie, I'm kind of, I kind of enjoy jazz. I got some Louis Armstrong, some Frank Sinatra. Oh, Frank Sinatra's more blues than jazz. I got some jazz stuff over there. I do love it. Some Van Morrison. He's more pop jazz. Yeah. You taste jazz. Like, I mean, you listen to Moon Dance, you're like, that's definitely jazz. But... Gotta to get to that hundo. Final push. It's definitely a lot faster with a star mill pickaxe with an increased XP. That makes all the difference. Because I think I'm getting like five more XP per tree, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's like that still saves a lot of time. <clears throat> I got a bunch of sun creepers too, actually. Always down for more of those alchemy ingredients, just because you, you can use them for a bunch of random shit. They're all good because they're all good for secondary ingredients. You can use them as primary ingredients in the low tier potions, but on a lot of the high tier potions, they're just good for having a pile of them as secondary uh, reagents. Fucking, we did it. We're out of here. We're out of here, baby. The hundo p, the hundo logging. Under well. Under well. How much do we have actually? Probably have too much. So, uh, not green. Well, I'll make as much lumber as I can. I'll cut down this mature tree along the way. Whatever's left, we'll just probably charcoal it again. Fuck it. I guess I could I guess I could turn it into timber to get the woodworking XP and then lumber it. Decisions. Whew, frame rate really does suck in towns. Which is not a surprise. Like that's where it's rendering like a hundred thousand characters and all the other shit, but Oh, yeah, they've cranked up the refining fees here, which is annoying as shit, but honestly, the refining fees are high pretty much everywhere at this point. I mean, it's the same refining fee though. Unless I want to like move all my shit to a completely new location, I don't really have a choice. Other than just to cop it on the chin. I think we need stealing it's more than we need ironing it's right now, so take the bunch. Take the bunch. Alright, now how much do we have? 339, hang on, this is where we do the math. Because I don't want to make more timber than I have to. Uh, bu, bu, bu. We got 339 divided by 4. That's 84.7, so we need 53 more lumber. Or well, 53 more timber. Well, we got extra. That's all right. Luckily, we got the sandpaper for it. Uh, oh, wait. No, it's times two. Math is hard. Math is hard. Wait, four, that's like 40. So that would be 40, 80. 80. But there we go. Needs, what's going on? There we go. Now, do I, what do I want to do? Do I want to bother timbering it, or do I just go charcoal it? I'll be honest, I don't need charcoal. Screw it. Just make it timber. Just go sell it for chump change. Oh, oh, oh. Matt is hard. Well, it's always because it's like I read that, but then I forget it's like times two timber instead of times one. Also, now that I think about it, it's four to two. Why don't they just make it two to one? Fractions. Fractions. The numbers, Mason. If it's four and two, why can't they just make it two and one? Bastards. Damn, dirty bastards. All right. Got some other stuff to refine too. Worry about that later. Stop giving me iron cartridges. Poopy. Right. Let's sell all this timber. 
Because I sure as hell don't need it. What does timber sell for anyway? I doubt it's much. <laughs> timber is so easy to get. I doubt it's gonna. I doubt it sells for anything. But as long as I make like at least three, like half a gold profit, I'll take it. I hate that there's no search window for stuff you're trying to sell. You just have to scroll down. This whole this whole UI needs a needs an overhaul. Point four. There's no, no, there's no way Timber's moving at point 0.4. There's no way. If Timber's moving at point 0.4, then I'm, I can get fucking rich. Let's try and sell it at point 0.2. There's no way. There's no way that's selling at point 0.4. That's like, that would be like 160 gold I just made if it was selling at point 0.4. There's no way. That's way too easy to get for that. All right, deposit all this, and then we can head back to Restless Shores. Now that we finally got 100 woodworking sorted, thank God. It's on. It's all there. Everything's over 100 now. Well, except for stone cutting and jewelry crafting, but that's. Worry about that later. Arcane is also got to go. Right? Arcane is. Arcana is super slow to level, so. Uh, can we make anything good? Strong coding. Oh yeah, we can make some more codings. Let's do that. Let's do that. These, these are useless, but it's just... It's just good to get rid of the ingredients just to get the levels going. Actually, these, these do have some use. These do have some use. Just make corrupted potions. Fishing, I know. I was just saying that before, Neens. I love the fishing, but the problem is, like, I can't do any... It, like, if you do level fishing, it's like you can't level anything but fishing. You just have to sit there fishing. So it's like, I can't... Do, I, I'm focused. I'm trying to do too many things. So I'm like, oh, I'm leveling my woodworking, and then I turn them into fishing rods, so I'm leveling my engineering. Or I'm... Because I'm leveling, like, ten things at once. But with fishing, it's like, you can't do anything but level fishing. Which is like... Mm, it's not efficient enough for me. It's not efficient enough. I'll go. I'll get back. To, I'll get. Yeah, fishing takes a long time. I'll get to fishing eventually. It's it's my end game. I'm really excited because I actually really love the fishing. Fishing's so much fun. Fishing is so good. Let's see. I'm just, I'm just mixing. This is all just a level lock on. This is all this stuff I'm making is practically useless and practically worthless. It's my retirement plan. I'm going to retire and live out my days fishing. I get to level 60. I'm in the highest armor ordained by the gods. Made from the... Refined in the teardrops of Zeus himself. What, with armor crafted from meteors. And I'm just going to sit on the side of a freaking lake fishing in it. That's how I do it. That's the plan. The fish are just going to be so impressed. Like, the eel's just going to pop his head out and say, Damn, son, you're looking fine. And then he just swims away. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. I wonder if I can even sell this. Let's see if this stuff even sells. I don't think it does. Wow, I'm already getting coin. I guess the I guess that timber is selling. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. Where are we? Where are we? B -b 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 Strong angular earth coating. What does this supposedly sell for? Point 0.18. Well, I guess that's not useless. I guess it's not useless. Oh, Neens, by the way, if you ever sell stuff, it defaults to 14, but that makes the listing fee crazy high. If you put it down to three days, it drops the listing fee way down. I highly recommend it. We wasted... Uh, everyone in our guild spent so, wasted so much money because they didn't realize that. So if you don't know about that with the trading, drop it down to three days, because otherwise you're spending a fortune on listing fees. Like, look at that. Look at this. It's six gold. You drop it down to three days. Two gold. Such a big difference. I'm trying to sell that for five. Oh, no, it's not 6,500. My God, no, five. Five gold. I don't think that's going to sell for six. There's too much of it up already. I'll be honest, half of those might be my listings. Yeah, just a little pro tip for you, Needs, because seriously, it's ridiculous how much the listing fee is for a two-week listing. And I mean, especially this early in the game, realistically, those prices are going to fluctuate crazily in two weeks. So it's like, 
There's not much point leaving it up for two weeks because the prices are probably just going to go up and down and all around. And all over the place. Like hell, just the sliver of adder stones. That, that, those prices have plummeted. But a baby level 19 and a half still. Oh, it's alright. We're all little babies. We're all little babies in one way or another in this game. Unless you're the sweaty guys that grind it all the way to 60 and now just run around flagged and calling everyone who doesn't flag pussies. That's that's pretty much the entire Covenant faction on the server. <laughs> all right. Yes, I am 42. I have all the fancy stuff. More importantly, these are my new these are my new acquisitions. The bags. Oh, so much effort to get these bags. But look at that, 225 encumbrance apiece. I've got 807 inventory weight. Oh, so good. So good. So much work to get them, though. Mm -mm. Oh, it's so, so good. I'm so, I'm so happy now. But it's kind of funny, because the bags, like, the perks you can get on the bags, it's like... You can see extra pockets. I, I deliberately went out and spent like 2,000 gold buying, uh, it's called a sliver of adder stone. You can use that to guarantee one perk when you're crafting an item. So you, so the sliver of adder stone means you can guarantee the extra pockets perk. Because it's 77 more weight. Like, it's easily, it's easily the best perk. Easily the best perk. But like every other perk for the backpacks is terrible. It's really funny. Like you can see plentiful shells. When hit with a rifle, 7% chance you gain ammo. Except the ammo is always iron ammo, like the lowest level ammo. So that's like completely worthless. Like half, like half of the perks are terrible. It's kind of they they do they do need to address some of the perks. I'm an awesome cook, dude. I'm cooking 135, dude. I look at all my meat pies. All my meat. I am the master of meat pies. They're so good. They're so good. Ten decks. Oh, I love my meat pies. Took me forever to go get all the get all the rosemary and the peppercorns to make it. Ooh, that's right. I collected some broccoli. I can make some. I can make some more um, food right now. Some more satisfying meals. We're trying out some different playlists today in the pretzel. So there's some. There's some interesting music we're getting propped up. We're in the jazz playlist right now, which is... Uh, it's a bit hit or miss. Uh, let's use all the broccoli, because these satisfying meals are good. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, and another pro tip means, something that a lot of people haven't quite figured out, is you have... You have recovery foods. Which are these ones, so that's like the travel rations, and the level 50 one's the light meal. The level 100 one's the satisfying meal. It's this one where it gives you, when you eat it, you get health, you just recover health for 20 seconds until you get hit. This actually stacks with your, um, other, your other buff foods. Very important. Because it's like basic cooking. So you can stack this to get your health recovery, and then you can stack like a, a dex food, like I do, because I'm a dex setup to get your dex bonus, or you can stack a strength food to get the strength buff, or one of the trade skill foods. So that's very important, because that's like, because a lot of people think you can only use health potions, but no, because you, you slot them like I do, you slot the satisfying meal, and then if you're starting to die, you just pop the food and run around and kite, and you recover health until you get hit. But you can still keep your, you can still keep your dex buff as well. It's very important, because we didn't realize that for a long time, and we wasted so much, um, so many potions and stuff. Flag Brightwood already? Hang on. We flagged Brightwood yesterday. What happened? There's no way the war happened yet. Huh? Eh? We flagged Bright we, we flagged Brightwood yesterday. There was supposed to be a war going on. Hmm. Oh well. Anyway, we gotta head back to Restless Shores. Do we need to bring anything? Oh, there we go. I there's another 57 gold. I guess the lumber the timber is selling. The timber, the timber is clearly selling. Arrows, that's what I'm forgetting. I need to get arrows. Arrows. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, there's a lot. 
And so you get you get the five base you get five basic recipes for each of the things by default, but there's actually additional recipes that you have to find in the world. They give you the better ones. The higher tier ones. Like I got a recipe for an omelette, which is like a 20 strength food. I'm making a ton of that and selling that because everybody wants all the strength builds want that. All the strength builds want that. Oh uh, yeah, bloody workshop isn't high enough level. Oh, that's annoying. What's the what's the workshop level in Cutlass Keys? Is it high enough? Oh, it's not high enough level there either. Why does nobody have an upgraded workshop? Their workshop isn't upgraded. Oh, Weaver's Fen has an upgraded workshop, but I, I hate Weaver's Fen. I hate that area with a passion. It is awful. I can smell Weaver's Fen through my screen. It's a literal swamp. It's terrible. They don't even have a... Dude, nowhere has upgraded workshops in our server. What is this? Why does nowhere have an upgraded workshop? It's literally Cutlass Keys. Cutlass Keys is like the only place that has an upgraded workshop. Oh! Well, the advantage is that is where I'm keeping all my ore right now. Well, this is the part where I'm going to have to go and buy back the arrows that I just sold. Because I was stupid. Because I crafted like 12,000 arrows. I sold them all. And now I'm out of arrows. The irony. I guess I'll go buy some. Because I, I can't craft them without going all the way down to Cutlass Keys and back. Which is really annoying. Oh my god, they're going for 0.7? This is this is people capitalizing on it. This is literally this is literally they've figured out that nowhere that nowhere has an upgraded workshop, so. They figured that, that's literally how the economy in this game works. They know that there's like nowhere nearby that has an upgraded workshop, so they're, they're trying to sell shit that you can only craft at a workshop here. Oh, I don't want to go. How much is it gonna cost? 80 Azoth to get down there. Alright. We're gonna make a plan. Hang on. Where, where, hang on. Where am I still... Where am I... Which, which end am I checked in at? Am I checked, am I checked in at the Everfall then? Okay, I'm checked... No, wait. Where the hell am I checked in at? Oh, I'm checked in at Cutlass Keys. Oh, Okay. Okay, I'm checked in at Cutlass Keys. We can make this work. No, we can make this work. Hang on. What do we have at Cutlass Keys? What do we have there? Because if I recall, I don't have to pay the Azov fee for lugging shit down there. Uh, looks like we are out of iron down there, and we're out of steel down there. So I just need to bring some feathers and some lumber, and we can craft it. Here we go. Split the feathers. How much steel do I have on me? Silver, 114. And then we need some lumber. I'll be honest, I think I might capitalize on this too. <laughs> Cause that's such a good idea. I might I might go try and sell some iron arrow, some steel arrows at a marked up price here. Cause there's probably a lot of people like me that <laughs> figured out they can't craft it, so they they're just looking to buy it. It's a, it's a capitalist marketplace. What do you expect? It's an Amazon game. What do you expect? Oh, who's that? Oh, it's Mike Brisket. Alright, workshop. Now. Steel arrows, steel arrows. Although, actually, technically, we could craft star metal. I just need to go get wood wood. Yeah. 38. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. We now have... Oh, bugged out. Take two. Okay, we now have 1,900 steel arrows, so I think I'll be good for a little while. I think that'll cover me. It's just a feeling. Okay, I'll drop all this stuff off here in case I need to do this again. Only downside with arrows is, ironically, somehow they get heavier once you craft it. Don't ask me how that works. But they're actually... The, the ingredients actually weigh less than the arrows. Which is a mild annoyance. Okay, so we got down here. We got our arrows. So we could port straight up to... Oh, Okay, now, well, it's going to cost even more Azov to get to Restless Shores. 
Yeah, it's 295. Okay, we'll pay the 140. Then we'll sell these arrows there. I'll keep I'll I'll save some so I don't have this problem again then. I'll save some and never fall. So we only paid 140 ads off. That's not too bad. Ugh. 140 as well, not too bad. Alright, so I'll keep one stack in my bank and then we'll try and sell the rest of these at a hilariously marked up price. <laughs> we'll sell them for one gold less than everyone else. That way I'm the default. I'm the one that it defaults to whenever they try to buy stuff. And is there anything else we need to take up to Cutlass? Uh, probably not. You can see all my bait needs. All my bait. I've been I've been stockpiling it. I'm ready. I'm ready for my retirement. The bait is just piling up. Wow, that timber's already sold. Okay. Well then. I was talking shit about the timber, but it's it's, it's already gone. That timber moves fast, apparently. I can't believe it. I can't believe people are buying it back. Okay, so hang on. If that's on a 0.7... We're going to sell it at 0.69. Yeah, nice. Nice. It's a 27 gold listing fee. How much How much is this worth? Hang on. Let's see. 0. 0.69 times 1549. I kind of wish they did this. Met. Like, like, why does it not show the total profit? What, what the total profit would be? It's just weird. This is a thousand gold profit. <laughs> this is a thousand gold profit if that sells. All right. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. All right, we got our food. We got our health. Is this a repeat? Yeah, let's try a different playlist. What else we got? Chill EDM. Let's try that. Let's see what that's like. All right, now we got to get up here and do some questing. Oh god, it's still 160 as well. Oh, this is the downside of being on a server with basically no syndicate players. Alright, well, we'll cop it. We get plenty of Azoth while we're questing, so it's alright. Alright. And this is definitely my favorite location. Even though the settlement is ridiculously hard to navigate, it is the coolest by far, and I want to buy a house here. I mean, come on, it's got a literal pirate ship in there. Like, come on. Fast travel points, like, up here, up on this, like, ridge. The inn is, like, in, like, a wrecked pirate ship above the pirate ship. Like, come on. Wait, what is... There's a button to hide the UI, and I forget what it is. I'm just pressing buttons and hoping I don't hit something that, like, breaks the game. I don't know what it is, but anyway. Look at that view. Oh. Gorgeous. I'm always a cap. Yeah, as long as you're always either, you always either have too much or too little. Because you also need it for crafting. Because, like, whenever you're crafting stuff, you add, you add your Azoth. And that will increase your chances of getting better attributes and better perks. So you want to use it when you're crafting as well. So if you're ever planning on crafting something that you're going to use and not deconstruct, you always chuck some Azoth in it to get better perks. If you're just going to deconstruct it, though, you don't bother, obviously. Alright, so we are going to... How are we going to do this? want to go over here. Go around there. That's the expedition. So we'll go like that and snake around up to that. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Off we go. Turkey! Turkeys have eggs. Eggs are worth big money. Oh, I've got to check in at the end. That's it. Doesn't actually matter because we already used our recall, so... That should really matter right now. And I definitely need the herbs because they got my rosemary. They got my rosemary in this zone. See, we'll do. We're going to five first. Ooh. I'm still learning. It's all good. There's all. There's. There's a big learning curve in this game. We're still figuring stuff out. Like most of most of our guild are just chilling. 
We got a bunch of people farming. Bunch of people crafting. And then of course Phantom is Phantom's already like 120 fishing or something. <laughs> He's doing a lot of fishing. He's been doing a lot of fishing. He's already caught like three legendary fish. He's been going hard on the fishing. <laughs> Meanwhile, all of, all of Yellow have basically just been, gr they like hard grinded up to 60. Because we already knew what was happening on the server. Because in, in like open beta, uh, Yellow was the non-dominant faction. So like there was very few Yellows on the server. So like all the super sweaty tryhard PvPers, they like all collectively decided to go Yellow. Specifically because they're like, it's going to be the lowest, it's going to have the lowest pop. So we're going we're gonna to all go Yellow so that way we get the best, the best underdog fights. But what happened was now it's like yellow has the most players and they're all super sweaty tryhards that grinded to 60 in like the first like three days and now they've just been dogpiling the map with like zero competition <laughs> it's pretty funny it's pretty funny how it worked out on our server but yeah just just exploring the world is easily the best part Except for Weaver's Fen. Weaver's Fen is not fun to explore. Weaver's Fen sucks. It's the worst zone ever. Restless Shores, on the other hand. Look at this. It's got, like, big lighthouses. It's just... It's gorgeous. I love it so much. I think Weaver's Fen was my favorite location. Then probably Cutlass Keys. Then probably First Light. And it's definitely not because those are all three pirate zones. That's definitely... Definitely not why. Absolutely not. Don't be ridiculous. That's not why they're my favorite zones at all. And then it's probably Everfall. I really liked Everfall. Winds I liked Windswood. Windswood's alright. Monarch's Bluff is... Monarch's Bluff I'm not big on. I wasn't big on Brightwood either. It's too, it's, I mean, it's all spooky and stuff, but... Not my vibe. I haven't, haven't been to Rickwater. I think I'll really like Emmonscale Reach. Emmonscale Reach is like all like feudal Japan themed. I think we'll like that. Because our guild's called Shogunate, so... <laughs> we're all we're all talking about basing out of Evan Scale Reach just because of that. Oh, I have to drink my I have to eat my buffs. Hold on a moment, sir. My buffs are not up. There we go. Do, do, do. And I think morning I think Morningdale is similar to Brightwood in aesthetic from what I know. I, don't, I have no idea about the those zones though. I don't. Even, I have no clue what those are like. Definitely want soul spice. What are we doing here? Just defeat pirates. All right. Well, that's easy. That's easy enough. Now yeah, you're gonna die, buddy. There you go. Do do do. Oh, all right. Have fun, Nains. I'll catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun out in New World. Bam. Wow. What? Oh, the bloody Grenadiers. I'm leaving. Don't want to be anywhere near those damn Grenadiers. So stupid. They're still hitting me from back there. I hate the Grenadiers so much. They're so busted. Like, serious, he's all the way up there. Like, I can't even, I can't even damage him without him de-aggroing and he's still throwing bombs at me. chests in there. There's no chests. I guess all the chests mu must be up there. Oh, but I don't want to go deal with the Grenadiers. No, it's out of choice, I guess. Not if I want, not if I want to grab some chests from here. Oh, 
Bob's easy. Don't see me. I just want to grab his chest. Because they all have these green refining agents. There's no chests up here. There's like no chests in this area. That's lame. Alright, let's bail. Mission accomplished. Uh, we'll go, actually, we'll go this way. Probably be quicker to snake around that way. What is this? Put an end to the story of the Shadow Slayer. Oh, that sounds ominous. That sounds ominous. Hey, hey, what do you think you're doing? I'm just here gathering my rosemary. What do you, what? Why are you going to do this, dude? Just let me get my rosemary. And then he leaves. And then he leaves. This guy. This guy. Rude. Dude. I'm liking the chill EDM playlist. I'm liking this. Territory standings, what are we gonna get? Um I usually always get those first. Ooh, hemp! If I don't mind if I do. <coughs> Never turn down some hemp. Investigate Rabbit Island for a haunting. Got it. Okay. Haunted rabbits. You got it. I'm on it. I'll keep an eye out for haunted rabbits. I do see a lot of rabbits. I mean, I just see a lot of rabbits. Defeat Stanley. What? There was once a rabbit who lived on an island. Oh, there's Stanley. Um, oh god, okay. So Stanley was haunted by an evil ghost, got it. Who was hiding behind a bush. The dick move. was unexpected. Oh, okay. So those book I should actually read the books. Apparently they give you a ton of XP. I read that and I was like, what? And they do indeed. They gave me like 130 XP. I've been slacking. I should be reading all those books. Now we're gonna climb up into this cave evidently. Mine star metal rings. And there's some boss here. Okay. That will do. So do not stand in that circle.
Hmm. This place looks complicated to navigate. We're actually just looking for chests. I don't actually need to kill anything here. If I can avoid fighting anything, that would actually be better, because I don't really need to. Of course, I'll always take these. Anything with moats is worth the stop. Fighting the corpse core. Bam. I'm dead. Where this This is this this is this thing happening again where I kill one enemy and just like a random enemy just jumps out. Okay. That was weird. Alright, four out of six. Oh, look at all those green upgrade or oh, refining mats. Yeah, it's a, so it's 130 XP for each book. Okay, I definitely need to be reading the notes then. question is, does that just loop back around to where we were? Oh, stop here. Grab that, though. I still use this thing because it's even on a single thing. Because it's still good damage and it still does a slow. Pretty sure this is looping. Hey, no, it's not. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. Oh, it definitely is. Okay. That was dumb. Oh. Oh. Good thing I have good AoE. Okay, this should be our last chest. Excellent. Now we are going there. Ooh, more, not more black crag. I'll definitely take that. Because you need moats so badly for so many things. You need it for specific, specifically all the jewelry crap. Which is another thing I'm trying to level, so. That's why I'm not in a rush to go and get, um. Yeah. More gems, because I need more moats to be able to refine those gems. Looks like a lot of those are up top. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's not not down not down here, so it's not easy to get. Alright. Off we go. I definitely need to get some better health potions. So I don't even have many of the strong ones, I've only got six. Stone's good for Arcana, and then obviously the moats. If I want any of those I can find, they're all pretty much worth it. I don't know what that guy's doing out here on his own, he's just having a good time. Okay. I guess we'll wander all the way up there, might as well. Even though we've only got one quest up that way. Something up near the. Oh no, the wall camp's there. Yeah, 
Ja, precis. Åh! Oh. That's good. This is the one where I'm like, I'm not sure that's really good. So I don't know if I can, I'm hitting things in one three meters away. That's a good one. But also that's useless because I don't, like I never heavy, I rarely heavy attack. And I rarely heavy attack multiple times because it's too slow. and a lot of supply caches next to each other. Wait, what are we doing here? Oh, defeat the Shadow Slayer. Okay. Alright. Come on! Should probably catch up here. Not kind of, oh, they're, they're bloody wretches. Ranged enemies are always so tedious. So I got all my stacks of rend on them, that'll be easy to get them now. As long as I get all those rend stacks on all of them, it's easy clap. Okay, are you? Yeah, you are the guy. Okay. Let's wait a second for the cooldowns to be up here. Wait for my health to come back. I mean, he, it seems like he's killing us with shadows. He's not slaying the shadows. Ooh, schematic for a basic bed. We got, oh, we got a bunch of shit there. Musket of the night. Ooh. Yeah, no. No. Ah, that'd be good, but I'm not using that. I'm just not using musket right now either, so. Okay, well, that's done. sneakily grab this because these are really good because the soul ones I can use to make strong health potions as well as getting the moats obviously Let's peace out head up that way I'm thinking how I can respect this because that's definitely good that's really good that's really good a lot of points in here. The bleed duration of 15 is really good. That's also insanely good. That one's, yeah, I'm not as fussed on that. That's also really good, and that's really good. So I'm pretty happy with how this tree's set up. It's like this tree where it's like, I pretty much only want the spin for the AoE. It's like, the stun's good, but it's not as important in PvE. Same with the javelin, not very useful in PvE. Don't use heavy attacks, they're too slow. Again, I got the, the two lights is way more efficient. Stamina on crits is in here. 20% damage against knockdown targets is only good against adds, really. Like, a, this tree feels like it's more PvP oriented. Like, those two are pretty much only PvP. I mean, honestly, that's also pretty PvE. Like, I mean, yeah, it's like that. It feels like that's the PvP tree, and then that's the PvE tree. Feels like a lot of them are like that. So I was saying about like the build diversity. It feels like it might be lacking. Like, there's a little bit of wiggle room, but it's just like there's only so many ways you. You got so few options, and so many of the options are very clearly like that, where it's like. Most of these are really good in PvE, and most of these are really good in PvP, but not really either or. That's why it's like... Mm. 
And bow in general needs needs a rework. Bow's bow is pretty much good for the debuffs, and then it's garbage after that. Because the way the the way the targeting works on it's a joke. It's a fucking joke. Because it's a projectile, but it's a projectile that's based that's like it uh, moves on the server, not on the client, which basically means there's abs. It's just like a hundred percent luck to actually hitting anything with it. Really, 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 really bad. Really bad. Always gather these herbs. The more rosemary I can get, the better. Plus, I can probably sell that oregano for a good price. Not that I would, because realistically, I use pretty much all of it. up here oh just search two chests that sounds pretty easy that sounds like an easy one and after that we just got a long run up here because that's the expedition quest so they're standing still, in which case then you can probably hit them. Probably. If you're just not aggro, bro, that'd be great. I just want this earth crag real quick. Cheers, bro. Alright, there's the desync again. I'm apparently in the tree now. This would be pretty easy, but there does not appear to be any chests for me. Oh, you're a fucking... Yeah, this guy before he annoys the shit out of me. Where are the chests here? Okay, well, these guys are all aggroed now, so... Oh, there's one. So fucking fast. Oh, uh, one fucking dead with it. The fucking spawn rates are so stupid. Like, they fucking respawn before you can even finish killing them. It's like, oh, I just need to kill these two guys, and there's three guys. Now it's all the guys I've killed are back. It's like, oh, I just need to use this chest. And then it's like, no, now there's like 40 more. All the enemies are back, and it's just like, you're just stuck in a never ending fucking battle because their spawn rates are so fucking high. And their aggro range is so long that it's just like, well, there's fuck all you can do, isn't there? There really is fuck all you can do. You can't stand still. Pretty much dodging is the only way to not take damage. There's not really anything else you can do. So it's like, all I can do is move and try and avoid the damage and just wait it out until I can get more healing. Alright. Fucking frustrating. It's always, it's always the same shit that kills you. It's always just like, oh, I can't get out of- I can't just stop more and more enemies keep showing up, so I just run out of healing. Get stuck in a corner, or- well, I mean, that's it. Those are pretty much the main, only two ways you ever really die. I have a feeling 
back and cut these keys to do this. I'm gonna turn down up here. Uh, what else is doing? I mean, yeah. I don't have, I can't do any of those little ones. I don't have anything here to craft with. So you went up. Damn it. I was Ooh. afraid you'd say that. Nice ring. All right, that's nothing we hope, but. Port of Damnation. That sounds like a great place to visit. 17 constitution, when you hit the table blow, 50% gain one stamina. I mean, yeah, I mean, that's better, I guess. Oh, cannot equip this yet. Oh, well, never, never mind. Never mind. Doesn't look half bad. Ah, uh, well, it's constitution and intelligence, so that's useless. It's useless to me then. Okay, that's done. Let's go drop all that shit off. Just let this pile up. I gotta take that back to Everfall and sell that at some point. Because people just apparently buy the up. Don't ask me why. They buy the up like crazy. They buy it like crazy. Oh, look at all those green refining reagents. Oh, it's beautiful. I'll take any and all of those I can get. <laughs> Shame you can't use it to get more out of iron ore, honestly. Old wooden full bed. Ah, oh, it's Emma Watson. There's the steel arrows! They're moving! They're moving! They're moving! They're moving! I'm making my- I'm gonna make so much money off that, that's stupid. That's so stupid. Do-do-do. Always a bit more strong. Cause I mean, honestly, that kind of sucks outside of PvP. That's alright. That sucks. That's only that's only good in specific circumstances. Yeah. Honestly, I should probably just ditch these. Cause basically the bottom line is you're trying to actually use the, b the bow as the bow is fucking pointless. You use it for the dots. Even even if even with that, and even if I add that one too, so it's faster and it's more accurate, I don't think it would matter. I really don't think it would matter. Like, I wouldn't bother with that. I wouldn't bother with that. Like, I definitely want that. Probably want that. Yeah, that's that doesn't really bother me. Honestly, that entire tree, except for maybe... Uh, no, yeah, I wouldn't want any of that. That tree is useless. I wouldn't bother with Splinter Shot. I wouldn't bother with that either. I mean... Yeah, I can't imagine that being very good either. I mean, I, I'd pro I should probably just do that. Like, one, two, three, four. Oh, and then I guess I probably still need... Point in that tree. Mm. So definitely want those two. If you dodge, deal 20% more damage. That's pretty nice. That's also not pretty good. Those are also very good. That's also really good. That's also really good. That is... whatever. It's also whatever. I mean, that would be good. Yeah, I don't, the slows are pretty much only useful for PvP, really. That's not... that's nice for PvP as well. That would also be pretty good. And again, that's also stupid, because you wouldn't bother shooting them in the leg. So, I mean, that tree is pretty much how I would... Oh my god, is Everfall getting downgraded again? God. 
Honestly, the only thing I would change in my setup was I wouldn't bother with that anymore. It's just not worth it. And I mean, honestly, since this is still like an app uh, thing where you actually have to aim it, it's also pretty garbage, but... I mean, if they're point blank, it's still useful. And I mean, I'm basically just buying that one because that one's useless, so... Yeah, I don't think I would... I, I wouldn't really change much there. Would not really change much there. Uh, so we've got all our quests, right? Actually, I should probably just put that ring back in there. Oh, put that ring back in case I accidentally decon it. Alright, before we head out, I'm going to take a quick bathroom break. So I need to go pee pee. And it happens. Alright, guys, so very quick bathroom break. We'll be back again in just a minute. More adventures. Back up to defeat lost at the Ravage Shipwreck. You got it. What's birth drags? That's nice. Can I come back? No, we're not. What? You're like, we're making a comeback. No, we're not. <laughs> no, we're not. I mean, you're flagging a few things, but that doesn't really mean anything. <laughs> that literally means nothing, because no one can actually win the war to take it. <laughs> They're like, I guess a stationary target works well enough. But as soon as it moves, the delay is just like, yeah, on that point. They don't exactly have smooth animations either. How many have to kill? Eight? Okay, 
safe spot. You're probably just gonna turn an aggro on me. Yep, thank you, aggro system. You are just completely flawless and not at all fucking garbage. No, sir. Okay, and you just spawn another one right on top of me. That dude is already respawned. Not. As much as I want to grab that prisoner boy. Let's see a life jewel. Let's see if we can't sneak that. Let's see if I can't sneak that one out from under him. If I can get to it. How do we even get to that? We're not getting the rest of that. Okay, we'll go. So we'll go north and go up to the. Oh, I'll probably do. Oh, let's go these way down this. Honestly, probably just go up left and then come back to those. Probably gonna be quicker. Because I'll just have to go all the way around, so. Might as well just keep going that way and head back there. Oh, I still haven't eaten the fucking meat pie. It's like, there it is. It's taking like five attempts. Okay, we still had 26. Oh, bloody annoying. Desync and it keeps bloody um on the eating it. All right. Of course, no one it, will the low level place flag up. No, why would you flag up as a low level just to get zerg down by a bunch of fucking sweaty level 60 cubs that'll teabag you? Like, why would you bother? <laughs> There's no point. point because you get what like a 10% XP bonus but it's like realistically it's you get it's it's not really a bonus because you're just gonna get fucked as soon as you run into anyone else flagged like you don't get actual PvP from flagging PvP solo you get the XP bonus and you get Zerg down that's what you get that's that's what you get for flagging PvP More herbs. So much oregano. It's the rosemary I need. I don't care about hunting and skinning in this area because it gives me thick hide, which is not something I really need more of. I have so much of it already. So we'll run up there and then we'll circle back and we'll do these. Okay, we need to search four chests then. Turkey! Is where all the hemp is. What's going on? Sure, I'll use the camp. Why not? What are we doing here? Search chests. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, my skill bar is bugged. I can't see my skills. Bro, if you could just not aggro, that'd be sweet. I really don't give a shit about killing you. There we go, now let's go buy some bugs. Excellent. We got what we needed. Bye, Felicia. Bro, I'm just out here collecting blueberries. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Hunt Snan Paw Lynx. Okay. Just gotta get up into that area. It's an easy one. Ooh. Grab some of that. Grab some hemp along the way. I'm always down for that. Always need more hemp. Son of a bitch. Okay. Okay, he decided he didn't want the hemp. Well, that's nice of him. Woo! So much discussion going on in the cross-faction discord, or the cross-company uh, cross discord. It's unfortunate. It remains to be seen if the server transfers are going to be good or terrible for faction balance. Fortunately, I'm leaning towards more towards it being terrible. Because they seriously need to implement something to balance out population of factions, and then something about uh, to balance out faction ownership in the map. Because, like, with the state the map is in right now, it should be... We should have a dramatic advantage in taking territories, since we have none and the other territories have five or six. Oh, speaking of which, Green actually... Green actually took one. Oh, Green took, um... Everfall. Nice. They still kept the... Oh, they've still got the taxes high. Okay, well. Of course they do. Sand Paul Lynx. I don't know if we're quite in the area yet, though. Ooh, star metal up there, but it's too far away to bother with. In terms of population numbers, like, Syndicate just doesn't have many members right now. And, mo and most of them aren't, like, PvP is they're not like grindy. Well, nowhere near enough of them, at least. <sighs> Very concerning. All concerns I raised in the closed beta. All concerns I was very much like, these are probably going to be a problem in closed beta. Is that herbs? I don't know, I think that's just the. Yeah, things that look like herbs, but they're not actually pickable herbs. That's got to be the best pie Who's I've that? ever seen. Lady Sino. Thank you for the follow. Was, oh, thank you for the sub. Welcome on back to the Buccaneers. Best damn pie I've ever seen. Thanks so much for that support, lady. 40 months. 40 months. How you been, lady? Oh. What's going on? The alerts are back on. We finally sorted out the follow stuff, so we actually get to hear things, and I can actually see what people's up now. And it's not awkward that I just don't realize now. 
because now I actually see it. How you been? All right, we're looking for Saint Paul Lynx. So I think we're in the zone now. Ooh, some gold ore. I mean, I won't turn down some gold ore. I don't actually give a crap about the, the ore, but it has a chance of some nice gems in there. Now we go. I'm all right, joining the weekend, just chilling. I actually got up like at seven o'clock today. I got up very early. I got up very early. Mm -mm. We started stream at like 10. That's how early we started today. We're like, we're like on top of it. We're on time. It's going, it's, all, we're, we're, mm. it's great. Definitely great. Definitely not very tired. I'm definitely not riding on the triple shot cap uh, coffee I had. It's definitely not going to be a very sudden crash at some point in stream. Do we're also playing around with the playlists because I got sick of the chill playlist. We kept getting we kept getting a lot of repeats, so I was like, you know what? Let there's a whole lot of new playlists in Pretzel now. Let's mix it up. This is chill EDM playlist, I think. I'm digging it. It's not bad. The jazz playlist was interesting. Some interesting stuff in the jazz playlist. It's also a piano playlist too. Might try that at some point. How many gems we got? Now oh, we got one emerald. Well, I'll take it. I'll take it. Let's set up a camp. Let's be responsible for once. For goddamn once, I'll be responsible and I'll set up my camp. Look at my little camp, it's adorable. Look at my little camp, it's so cute. That's a tier four camp. Tier four. Some nuts. I don't even need these nuts, but I'll take them anyway. I want me to hunt lynx in this area. So far, I'm only seeing bison and wolves. I only see bison and wolves. And some hemp. Is hunting hemp the quest? I do love hunting hemp. Are they in the place? Wait, wait, what are you doing? You're hiding in the herbs. You're hiding in my rosemary. Get out of my rosemary. I'm, not even gonna, I'm actually not even going to skin it. I'm already max skinning and I do not need thick hides, so. Oh, then again, I suppose there's a chance we can get the rare items, so might as well. I'm still not seeing any sand core lynxes on the radar. Lots of wolves. Plenty of wolves. Oh, we've almost got another rank on the spear. We should definitely focus on that. Doo -doo -doo. Excuse me, Mr. Wolf. I would just like the hemp. All I want is the hemp. That's all I ever want. I just want that hemp. I have hemp underwear. I have hemp clothes. I have hemp bath towels. I built my entire house out of hemp. But seriously, where are these lynxes? There ain't, there ain't none here. They must be like in there, I guess. I guess they're literally inside. Oh, yep, they are. They, yep, I see them on the radar now. They're literally inside here. Okay. I guess they have their own little. They have their own little house. Okay. It's insane. This is definitely the best temper right now, actually. Because the Windswood one is great, but there's so many people on it. But this one up here, this is where it's at. Uh, 
Oh, look, he's, he's, he's guarding the door. That's adorable. I'm going to murder him. This is literally, it's like literally their hideout. They have like a little hideout. This is adorable. I can't wait to murder them all and steal their skin. This game in a nutshell. Oh, I'm about to get a bow level too, actually. Ooh. Nice. Oh, that's a dead end. I definitely have to get as many chests as I can in this area. All these green, all these green up uh, refining mats are so good. So good. Well, I want to go see what's in there. Like, come on, look at that chest there. It's not hoarding if everyone is doing it. Acquisitions agent. I'll be honest, I thought there were stairs there. I'll be honest, I thought there were stairs. Mistakes were made. Okay, that's like a path that goes down. Wait, so what's the path that leads over to that place? Aha, uh -huh, here we go. It's like a maze. What's in this ominous looking room? Is this the King Lynx? I think it's just the normal Lynx. It's just the normal Lynx. But he's guarding a fancy chest. Is that anything good? You got anything good for me? Oops, swashbuckler pants of the Zealot. I actually need new pants, don't I? They might be good. Ooh, ah, oh, but it's strength and focus. No, oh, if only it wasn't strength and focus, that would have been good. Alright, jump out back, we're out of here, let's go. Next stop is number one. Excuse me, Wolf. Could you please stop nibbling at my nether regions? I know I've got the hemp pants and the hemp underwear, but you got to stop. I'll make you a pair later. Oh yeah, we're like right on the precipice of both of those. And we s get them to 20 and then I'll be time to start trying to level some other weapons. Well, I guess once I get the spear to 20, I guess I will switch to a different dex weapon. I guess I'll switch to rapier. Try level ra loving rapier a little bit. While I'm waiting for bow to catch up. What I'll probably do is I'll switch to rapier and musket. That's probably what I'll do. I'll switch over to rapier and musket. I'll level that, level that for a while. Cause I'll eventually have to switch over to strength stats. So, cause I want to level, I want to level strength stuff. Cause dex is fun, but. You probably should. Switch seems to need a lot of updates. I got I got Slay the Spire on my Switch, and I was like, yeah, that's like the perfect game to have on Switch. Perfect game. I've been pl I've actually played that a few times, waiting in hospital rooms and stuff. It's been nice. I also got Into the Gungeon because I had so much fun with Into the Gungeon. Definitely be playing that at some point. So that's a, that was a fun game. A little star metal. I'm always down for a little bit of star metal. Oh! Server's dead. Server! Server, please! I want my star metal! No! That face when you get booted from the server. Am I getting booted from the server? What's going on here? Is that just like a mega glitch node? What's going on? 
This is the star metal vein that breaks the server, I guess. Okay, I guess we'll keep going? I'm scared to touch it. I'm scared to try and touch that node again. These wolves just keep nibbling. They keep nibbling. Let me get my earth crag. Hey, let me get my earth crag. You bitch. Let me one more hit. Hey, right, there we go. Now we can go. See ya. Nah, yeah, this silk thread. Oh, there's hemp though. Nah. Too many wolves nibbling at me to bother trying to get the hemp. Definitely not bothering the silk thread. Ooh, there's herbs though. Herbs do interest me. They go well with all my hemp. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna be 200 harvesting in no time at this rate. Gonna be 200! I'm already 200 tracking this game. Certainly getting there pretty quick with the harvesting. I don't know who this freaking perp nerf guys are, but they are really spamming zone chat. It's kind of annoying. don't think they are in the uh, Alliance Discord. Maybe see if we can get them. Maybe we should check actually if they're in there. Ooh, silver. Ore. Nah, that's not bother. So I don't need the ore, I'm only getting that because it has a chance to give me gems. I have a much better chance if I actually do that on a route because I'll have my proficiency boost around my um, other stuff up. Proficiency booster and my mining luck food up. I still have to find cauliflower actually because I need cauliflower for the better gathering stuff. But I don't know where to get cauliflower from. I don't know which zone it is from. I should just Google it. It's got to be a high level zone. So I haven't seen it anywhere yet. and have like little tents and everything. It's adorable. Wait, where are we going? I'm getting lost. Going this way. This way. Oh, that was some big neck cracks. Ooh. Springstone, definitely want that. Not Springsteen, Springstone. We don't know if he exists in this year. Actually, this is like, this is supposed to take place in like 1800s or something, so probably. Probably no Springsteen yet. Hmm, Scorch Stone. Definitely want that. Is that bison rolling around? That is kind of adorable. Is 
he just rolling around or is he dying in pain? Unclear. That's either really cute or horrifying. I have no way of knowing which it is, though. All right. Bruce is kind of old. Is Bruce immortal? Is he immortal? It's possible. I do like all these little these like little spots they put uh, put out for easy spots to set up your camp. They're like little campsites. It's adorable. Iron ore, the best ore. Now we're talking. He is almighty, that's true. Just like Jim Carrey. Underrated movie. Underrated movie. Ooh, star metal up there. Ah, uh, here's the... Here's the farm place that has been bugged since... Apparently Alpha, Shogun tells me. This, this thing has been here since Alpha. And they still haven't fixed it. So I don't know... How they could possibly justify banning people for using this quote-unquote exploit if it's literally been around since Alpha and they haven't bothered to fix it. I mean... Because those boars just spawn crazy fast so the people are just sitting there farming them. It would be astounding if they decided that that is a bannable exploit. The absolutely astounding. It's one that's literally been known since Alpha, and that they have done nothing to change. Hell, I might go and just shoot a couple. I might go get my last, these last little scraps to my weapon XP down there. Take me seconds down there. So I'm gonna get down here with the vanquished pirates. Duck across there and grab that. Yeah, I'll probably just run back after that. It's not that far. Star metal. Because I'll always take the star metal. You can never go wrong with star metal. I'll probably need it at some point. That's all the way up there and I'm lazy. Definitely take the spine caps though. Even if it is just for the mushrooms. Tasty mushrooms. Alright, well, let's go see if we can't quickly grab some. Very laggy. <laughs> Breakfasting with some boars. The baconator. Well, we got our baconators out. Down in the heaven chain to this. Oh, 
But also, if you want a level tracking and skinning, this is also the place to do it. There's so many boars here, you can, you can skin them all, so... You need thick hide or you need skinning XP. Easy clap. Like an inch off. Yeah, the poison cloud is completely broken and lag. Yet another fun bug, but it just doesn't go off. There we go, bow mastery complete. Let's get the big guy. Big guy worth got anything good? All right, we're done here. We got what we wanted. He's out. Wow, we got two fucking mastery points out of that too. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh yeah, there's a there's a mass slaughter of boars. Spoiler. Did you did you not see how many boars were getting slaughtered? It was a massacre. It was horrible. I literally have a title called the Baconator now. I can literally just be the Baconator. There we go. I'm the Baconator now. Okay, what are we gonna go with? Uh, hmm. Choices. Most of that tree sucks. Uh, really good level five percent. That's not bad. Actually, that's probably the best one right now because our bow charge, bow recharge is very slow. Spear, what do we want? Critical hits, nah. Yeah, that's, that one's alright, but... Stamina. Yeah, honestly, I don't think I really need those. Don't really need that either. Definitely don't need that either. Don't need that either. Okay, so... What are we looking at in here? Really, within two seconds of dodging, reduces all spear cooldowns by 20%. Critical extend the duration of your spear or doom bust. That's probably pretty good, actually. Probably good. Yeah, Sporter is here. Sporter's got. Wait, Sporter's got cookies? Why does Sporter get cookies? Now I'm hungry. Look what you did. Look what you did, Sporter. Now I'm hungry. Oh. Oh, peanut butter. Oh, peanut butter. Peanut butter cookies. Peanut butter cookies are nice. Lemon cookie. Lemon cookie. It's a no for me, dog. It's a no for me, dog. Oh, what? What's happening? Immediately get clutched into a ball. Eat my meat pie. Oh, okay. They're doing a thing, all right. Clearly they have a farm going here. Well, what else am I doing here? Vanquish pirates. Did none of those count? Oh, actually, no, it's a, I'm a, I need to go to the next place. Yeah, well, I'll leave them be because I don't want to mess with this. I won't piss them off. We'll go round. We'll go round. Also, those harvester pants, are they any good? <sighs> I mean, they'd be good, but they're intelligence. I'd say those. Shogun might want those. Shogun might like some harvester pants. Blue harvester pants. Mr. Man of Honor. I mean, it's also just like, I'm not, I'm not interested in sitting there farming and I'll just mess it up. But now we actually need to kill stuff up here. 
But then one of those guys had a quest mark above their head. That's why I went in. I don't know. Weird. I'll borrow their camp real quick, though. I might as well get a health back. Might as well get a health back. Wow. Wow. Oh, there was a wedding. Oh, I missed the first part. Congratulations, sporty. You finally married that eight-eyed little girl of your dreams. Oh, that's a horrible phrasing. Eight-eyed eight -eyed spider girl of your dreams. Oh, boy. We don't judge here. Unless it's a black widow, in which case you got to be careful. You got to be careful. Ugh. All friends and family. Probably sounds like, probably better that way, Sporter, if I'm being honest. That sounds better, really. Oh, okay. Well, I think I'm gonna get my quest here. Assuming it actually counted those, did it? Yep, there we go, we got it. So I guess they're farming these because it's easy to pull them all into a pile. Alright, well, let's get out of here. Sister got married? I mean, no, oh, I mean, okay. Excuse me, I don't want to fuck with a gator. These are gators, not crocodiles, MRK. There is a big difference. One will see you in a while, the other will catch you later. It's a massive difference. My god. Ceremony was four hours. Dear fucking god. Sounds terrible. Make the ceremony like ten minutes and then make the whole thing the reception. Where you can get drunk. That's how it should be done. How it should be done. The wedding needs to be like, you know, like... You need like maybe half an hour for the wedding. For the actual ceremony. It's the reception where there's the food and the drinks. That's where you want, that's where you want all the time to be. That's where you want the time to be. Exactly. See, that's how. Yeah, she knows. She knows. Okay, well, they're all swimming here. Now that's a party. Seven hour party. Exactly. Exactly. Because realistically, who's like, we want to we spend all the time at the wedding. We want to listen to all the vows. We need to listen to 40 different people speak. We need to listen to Uncle Steve, who no one's talked to in 86 years, who's a Vietnam vet, and he goes on a weird tangent about the Viet Cong when he's supposed to be giving a toast. I'm definitely not projecting. Nice. I don't know where all these guys came from, but... Okay, we'll kill him, I guess. Alright, let the dots just bleed them out. Still another one, huh? Okay, all right. You fucking piece of shit. You laggy piece of shit, dude. Don't let him take it. Don't let Charlie take anything more from us. Open bar. Oh, now we're talking. 200 bo- I mean, I guess, I guess they saved all the money on the ceremony. That's how it should be done. Oh, my pants are busted. All right, Mr. Gator, you're being a pain in the ass, so now you get to die. Even though it's absolutely not advantageous to me whatsoever. You broke my pants. The alligator literally ate my pants. That's for my pants, you son of a bitch. Alright. Maybe I should just... Nah, I can't afford... Nah, the pants. I really need new pants, though. Not the hemp pants. I know. I know, lady. How dare they. How very dare they. I worked hard on these pants. Wait, what else is broken? Alright. I'm in, I'm in a tiny bit of water, so I can't access my inventory. Oh. That snout is too narrow. I mean, you know, I didn't exactly... You know, we're in a fantasy island. 
Everything, no, nothing dies here, am I okay? Everything comes back to life. You know, we don't ask questions. Oh, the necklace is about to break. Oh, okay, sure. It's not even a very good necklace, honestly. I need to get my jewelry crafting over 100. What am I doing here? Oh, searching chests. Right. Oh, this is that shitty place where we got screwed at last time. How can the... And it's kind of dumb that the mobs can move at full speed in the water, but we can't. Oh, no. chest oh right shit we've got this quest twice don't we so we gotta collect four actually no this could be a problem this could be a problem it could be a problem right, let's see if we can't pull them one by one if we can yeah buddy you want to come over here boop, boop. My me. Okay, that's a DOS. Ooh! Oh, it's Dex and Constitution, too. Oh, those are some nice gloves, baby. Now we're talking. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. All right. I don't know what happened here. I don't even know if there is four chests in this area, though, so this could be a problem. And again, I have no idea where that guy just came from. And that guy's respawned. The spawn, the spawn rates in the aggro system are really annoying. Really Die so I can loot this chest before all the enemies respawn again. My god. There we go, okay. Ooh, let's crack up there, we want that. So we still need to find like one more chest. So there's not one over here, by the way. Oh. Oh, he's respawned already. We're not going that way. We'll go around. Because I have technically done it, but I have the same quest twice, so I need to gather twice as many. Which is annoying. Ooh! I'll take those. Spine caps. Num nums. Is there, one, is there a chest out here? Okay, there's not actually a chest out here. Alright, buddy, thanks. You take all the aggro, sir. You're the, you're the hero now. Best of luck to you, brother. He's a pokey boy, too. Even if he is a filthy covenant. Uh, is there actually a chest there before I aggro anyone? I really don't care about killing them. I just need the I just need to loot one more chest in this area. I mean, there's got to be one at the end of that boardwalk, right? There's way too much stuff. There's way too much stuff there to not be one at the end of that boardwalk, right? Right? There isn't one at the end of this boardwalk. Well, oh, no, there is. There is. Okay, excellent. Excellent. We're all sorted. Get these damn grenadiers, because of course it's nothing but grenadiers. Oh, there's also one up the top there. Okay. Alright, uh, 
right, this should be it. Boom. Ah, oh, it's not even dropping them. Okay, well. Well, we'll just hope for the best. Let's get out of here. Let's bail! Alright, now we just gotta get back to... the town. Just gotta get back to town. Mm-mm-mm. Am I okay? Are you saying that's what you drank or what you bought? Because those are two very different things. Those are two very different things. Two bottles of beam, five bottles of fireball, three bottles of Captain Morgan. Woo! Woo! It's been a hell of a night. I do need some better pants, though. I need some better pants. I'm in a hunter now. I wonder if I can craft better pants. No, I need fur. I need the fur. I don't even know where I get the fur. I think that's still another zone away. So it's just dropping thick hide here so I can make layered leather. Uh, I'm not doing this shit once. That's hopeful. I haven't got them. But yeah, do it once and do it right. Mm hmm. Alright, well, now we just got a very slow run back to base. What's that? Just a weird, is that just a weird looking rock? What is that? Oh, no, it's a uh, mined earth one. I don't know what that is. <coughs> Do it once because I don't want to deal with it again. Well, ooh, wood, wood tree. See, this is why we went and did the wood cutting at the start of stream, right here. This is why we did it, so we can cut down this cool tree. It was all worth it. It was all worth it. Just to get these word wood planks. Ooh, there's actually quite a bit of word wood here, nice. I'm all for it. We, can, we certainly got the bag space for it. No. I worked so hard on those bags. Whoa, they're worth like 600 logging. Okay, I see why people are saying once you get to level 100, you just do word wood. Cut a tree down, plant another. This, it, this Things respawn on this island so fast, you don't have to plant shit. That's the whole thing on the island is nothing dies. Nothing dies on this island. It just it just gets it just like re rematerializes. That's like the whole thing. Nothing it dies. I don't need to. You can't literally can't kill anything on this island. Even if you kill it, it just reappears a few minutes later. That's like the literal it's like the literal lore explanation for it all. It doesn't matter. You have free reign to slaughter everything cuz you can't really slaughter anything. You can kill anyone and whoever you want. You can go around murdering bunnies. It doesn't matter. The bunnies come back to life. Which is why we go around murdering bunnies and I bake them into meat pies. It sounds a lot darker when I say it like that. But that is actually what we do. Because those meat pies have 10 decks. There's a 10 decks buff. Like I'm not gonna, like I'm not gonna make meat pies. 10 decks is a lot of decks. That good dex, that good 191 dex. Woo! I should get my constitution up to 100. I want to get my dex a bit higher first, though. Let's get up top. All of these, all of these good things are like up the top there. Let's go. Oh, let's go around south of this. Need to hook around and go south. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, the lighting is changing rapidly. It's kind of a kind of an interesting bug. Oh, lights on, lights off. Lights on, lights off. 
Guys, I have the literal light switch of life. Look at me go. Yeah, just clap on. Wait, no, I can get closer. Clap on. Oh, we can't do. We, ca we can't get close enough on this side. Yeah. Oh well. We brought it back to Bruce Almighty. We did it. We did it. We brought the conversation around. Ah, it's the it's the island full of haunted bunny rabbits. That's not that's not an exaggeration. That's we're literally on an island of haunted bunny rabbits. Where's Stanley? Where's Stanley the bunny rabbit? Stanley the bunny rabbit's the haunted one. We did it. We did it, guys. We actually brought a conversational tangent back around. You know how rare that is in this stream? It's pretty damn rare. It's pretty damn rare. Ah, uh, there's the town. I wonder if I can get up in that lighthouse. Be a nice view up from that lighthouse, I reckon. Oh. Who's that? Who's that? It's Maz! Dolphin dive! This is the official, this is our official company greeting. It's the unwritten rule in our company. If you see someone else from the company, you gotta just do that for like five minutes. Oop. Cause you can die, but if you dodge immediately, you just jump back up. Up, 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 bow, up, bow, whoa, whoa. This game's version of Crouch Fam. I mean, you can't Crouch Fam. But I mean, dolphin diving and, di and da da uh, dashing is way more satisfying. Woo! Wee! Woo! Wee! It's like doing the worm. If you do it right, it's literally doing the worm. But yes, that, is, that has become known as the official guild greeting in the Shogunate. Alright, we got all our goodies to turn in. And we should definitely hit 43 at least. Oh, there's Gruff Goat as well. We've got a lot of people hitting the 40s in our guild now. We're catching up. Alright, turn in number one. Oh, actually, I wonder if we can buy some paints. Hold up. What do you got for me? We're almost at the rep cap. We shouldn't be close. No, yeah, we still got we still got a while. So yeah, we're almost ready to go to, to be a cabalist. We still got plenty more tokens left. Can I wear these yet? Chronicle of Pants. Level 40 rep requirement. How much are they? Oh, they're 10,000 though. That's like literally all my tokens. It's, I mean, it's tempting just because they're, you know, they're nice pants, but... Probably not worth it at that price. So what do I need? My, I got really good gloves. I got really good pants. I've actually got a pretty good chest piece. The helmet's pretty good too. Yeah, it's, it's really just the pants that are left that I need to upgrade. Those pants definitely need a big old upgrade. Big old upgrade there. Should head down and refine all this. Oh, I'll save I'll save these pants for Shogun. I reckon Shogun will like them. Shogun has spent like every waking moment since day one harvesting hemp. He's a madman. He's a madman. I reckon he'll like those pants. and all that stuff in the storage shed. Do 
Do, 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 do. So we'll have to deliver this all down to Everfall at some point. So we've got some refining to do as well. That rings, yeah, that rings level 44, so we've still got one more level before we can use that. What are our weapons at? 40 and 38. Yeah, we probably don't need to upgrade them just yet. I don't think I can craft better pants. I'm gonna see if I can buy some better pants. Has anyone got some good pants for sale? I'm after a nice pair of pants. Leg armor, medium armor, can't afford, can't equip. Highest gear score, what do you got for me? 360, oh that's lowest gear score. Highest gear score, 428, that's not bad. Const constant intelligence, dex and focus. We're looking for dex and... Dex and constitution, that's what we're looking for. 250, wow bro. I mean, realistically, that's still better than what we got. It's not that expensive. We'll buy those. I mean, it's only 18 gold. We'll throw them on. Just because they're literally just like better version of the shitty green pants we got now. We'll definitely want to replace them at some point, but... They'll do for now. They'll do for now. Okay, hang on. We don't need to do... Oh, we do need to do smelting, actually. Uh, we'll wander back up that way. Ooh, they have a cow! What's this cow's name? Matilda! Alright, Matilda. Excellent. Uh... Actually, no, we need this, don't we? We need to make travel rations. How many do we need to make? That's an easy one to do. Travel rations. Animal Crossing update! Oh my god. Everyone in your town probably hates you for never going... Never going and showing up and saying hello. Oh my god. Oh, whoopsies. Oh wow, I can only craft one. Oh, because I need meat. Damn. What did I craft? Oh, I crafted light rations. I'm an idiot. I'm a big dumb idiot. No update for Chris Pratt cart toe. Damn. Damn. When are we going to get the Chris Pratt sound effects? One day. One day. Oh, boy. Right, let's try this. Yeah, I only gave me credit for one of them. Yeah, bugs, that bug's really annoying. Ooh. It's alright. Thank the stars, you're back. Ding. 43. No matter what, Launch probably one of the most dangerous fleet commanders of all history. Deep, deep, deep. Oh, alright, we still got more. What do we got in there? What do we got in here? Ooh, ice cream. Get it out of here. Get it out of here. Find out how much they hate me. Wow. Oh, it's like bug, dude. It's not even giving me the crest mark. Okay, let's just let's just abandon it. That's like hard bugged. That's like crazy hard bugged. All right, we just need to get down to the bottom floor. Yeet! I really wish you could dolphin. I really wish you could dolphin dive, but it like takes you out of the dolphin dive animation when you fall that far. It's a big sad, big sad. I really want to buy one of these houses. These houses are really cool. Even though the town is annoying as hell to navigate, I mean, it's totally worth it. What level do I have to be to make cool pants? I think this is the highest level we can make right now. Layered fur pants. Oh, no, yeah, so that can't get us to 405. That can get us to 405. What can... Oh, these can go up to 405 as well. Oh, maybe we can make... Maybe I can make some nice pants. Hmm. Probably going to be too expensive to be worth it, though, really. Make the lemon. I don't think I... don't know if I need sateen for anything, so... Uh, is this even high enough level to do anything with Arcana? Nope. 
It is not. It is not. As long as the smelter is. Oh, more quests up there. Can I stop glitching through the floor, please? Take down Admiral Rice at Fort Damnation. Okay. Okay. That sounds ominous and scary and terrifying. Don't I actually don't like the sound of that. Oh, look at those little houses. Those are adorable. I have some unfortunate news, my friend. Oh no. I am quite certain that the Oh, now there's a werewolf boar as well. There's a werewolf. Uh, isn't that the, I bet that's the one everyone's Yeah, that's the one everyone's farming. Okay. See, look at that. That's a nice house. It's got a nice little yard. Wait, is this a Bible house too? Oh, that's a Bible house too. Oh, that's also a door. Doesn't have as big of a yard, though. Can I... Wait, can I do... Apparently, wait, is there a way to... Oh, can I only enter his version? Oh, that's lame. Oh, no, it's got, it's got a little bit of a yard. Oh, it's got a nice little yard. Nice little yard, two floors. It doesn't have a balcony. Well, I mean, it's got the little front porch. It's nice. I, I like it. It's not bad. I'm still tempted to get, like, that, uh, one of the ones, like, up there or something, though. Because they look cooler. Oh, actually, I really like this one. This one's cool. It's got a little balcony where, out there where I can sit and watch over the plebs. It's also cheaper. Plus, I like the smaller rooms. I kind of like the smaller rooms. It's got a nice bay window. It's got like this little place where I can sit out here and watch all the losers. Watch all the losers out there. Look at those losers. Down there. Yeah, nice little spot up there. Don't ask me how they have fireplaces in multiple levels. Little bay window that looks over like the trading post. Hmm. Huh comes with a doggo? No, the doggo you get from the first dungeon. His name is Barkamedes. I shit you not, that's his name. His name is actually Barkamedes. <laughs> he's the quest giver at the dungeon, by the way. He's at the he's at the first place in the game, the Amrine expedition in Windsor. Bones for Barkamedes. <laughs> He's just he's just sitting outside the ex he's like that's like the dungeon he's sitting outside the expedition and he's the he's the quest giver, good old Barkamedes. And if you complete his quest, he gives you one of his little pups. He gives you a little pup, little Barkamedes pup to put in your house. It's kind of adorable. It's kind of adorable. I still gotta do all the dungeons because I can do like two more of the dungeons right now if I wanted to. But I've just been leveling, so I haven't gotten around to it. Alright. Oh, we got some more territory standing. Uh, always get those first. Always get those first. Now, once again, we have all these. Okay, so we'll do... do, do we'll go like that. And we'll go like that. That makes sense. So, yeah, that is the place. That is the ball, ball place, isn't it? Yeah. Well, something tells me we're not going to have any trouble killing them. Oh, we got to take them down at Fort Damnation. I think this is the public dungeon in the zone, though, so it should be alright. Should be alright. Besides, we got better pants now. We got better pants. That's what matters. Hmm. Now, jewelry's really dragging down our gear score, though. Actually, a fishing pole needs to go up as well. I need a better fishing pole. All right, but I need to take a bathroom break before we head on out again. Oh, actually, what's the time? Twelve thirty. Nah, we won't go for lunch just yet. But I will take a very quick bathroom break. Go out and pee. So you guys should get up, stretch your legs, do all that stuff yourself, 
And we'll be back in just two or three minutes, all right? Two or three minutes. Yeah, I'm stretching. Okay, at least I have legs to stretch. Boy, it has eight of them. They're just broken, okay? <laughs> oh, another guilty. I look AFK. Alright, right. Out. Onward. Some more adventures. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Get rivets. Kill mobs. Search chests. Doing that one. Wait, what's this one? That's an expedition, though. What? What? Since when do they give me syndicate quests or faction quests in a. Uh, what they call An expedition? Expeditions are like the five player dungeons, like, you can't do them solo. When do they give me faction missions in there? That's not fair. Oh well. Oh well. Excuse me, sir. I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to collect my soul spire, sir. Sir. People, kids these days, no respect. Ow. Zombies these days. Am I right or am I right? And I ran, I ran so far away. I see another life jewel. I think that's life jewel, right? No, it's soul spire. That's good too. Soul spires are good too. Life jewels are best though. Alright, we're going north. We're going that way. We're going to straight there, that's where we're going. So we're gonna go there, then we're gonna go across there. Oh, I guess we can run up there. We haven't run up we haven't run that route before. We can see what's around that way. 
That'll be fun. Mix it up a little bit. Because we don't need to go. We don't need to go here. Because that's the expedition. We're not doing it. We're not doing the expedition. I mean, realistically, I can just abandon that expedition quest. It's just confusing. Uh, where's the expedition quest? Russell Shaw, enter the depths and confront. That's the one. Oh, right. No, it's the main story quest. Never mind. Forgot. It's the main story quest is go to go do the expedition. Well, that's the that's the ghost that's the ghost that's been haunting the bunnies. That's the bunny haunting ghost. Yes, please, Craig. Craig. Yes, please. I need all of the moats. Although it's annoying because the Arcana station here isn't upgraded enough to let me combine them here. Which means I goddamn have to spend so much extra time um, wait teleporting it. Oh boy, it looks like they're having fun up there. Hey man, if you want to kill that boss, that's fine by me. He's really annoying. Just don't just don't run away. You had to run away. You had to run away. You had to ruin it. Look at his little musketeers out there. What a loser. Oh. He's despawned. I like it. What am I doing here? Chests, right? Chests. Let's get out of here before he gets back. Let's get out of here before he gets back. Run! We made it. <laughs> Luckily that goes missed because he's an idiot. All right, we're done here. Let's bail, let's bounce. Let's bounce. We're done here. No, I said we're done here. Stop touching me. Stop touching me. Stop touching me. I said stop touching me. Stop touching me. Stop touching me. I. This is pure greed. It's worth it for the green refining agents. It's worth it. I regret nothing. Oh, I'm gonna grab this one too. I regret absolutely nothing. Farewell. Good luck dealing with that mob because he's probably going to tether to you because this game's aggro system is kind of broken and definitely needs to be fixed. Run away! Alright, heading up here. That was easy. Hello, sir. You can notice like all the marauders and yellows are like level 55 and 60 because they got like all the sweaty players. Most of Syndicate's still only like my level. That's why we own literally no territory on the map. I still don't know what happened in Brightwood, because we flagged that yesterday, but now it's unflagged. I don't know. Because the war couldn't have happened just that quickly, because the war takes like two days before you can have the war. And yeah, green took Everfall, which I'm kind of okay with, because fuck yellow. Fuck those filthy yellows. Damn Covenant, bloody choir boys. Do, 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 do. Alright, we're here. What are we doing? Am I killing you? Up. Oh. We are. Uh, defeat eight lost. Can do. Can do. Well, as long as the target remains stationary, because I'm using the bow. If that target moves, it's all over. I'll just let, I'll just let the bleep poison kill him. There it is. And somehow you aggroed, which is impressive. Where did you even come from? No, it doesn't matter. Oh, I gotta eat my meat pie, actually. We don't have my meat pie up. Nah, okay, well. Yeah, it is 
a reason I don't bother using the bow for literally anything other than its three abilities. It's because it's broken. It's great for the dots. The dots on it are fan bloody tastic. Anything else? Anything else about its uses? Though? You would never use it otherwise. Accomplished. All right, where are we going next? Past the enormous, horrifying corruption breach right there. Oh, well, we'll grab this supply chest since it's right here. I'm not going to pass that up. It's going to have me some nice uh, green refining materials. Yes, look at that. That's what it's all about, baby. As many of those we can get. What is anyone doing this portal? Is anyone doing the monolith? Because I'll totally do the monolith, there's people here. Doing one of those solo is not going to go well for me. Yeah, there's no one here doing it. It's a no from me, dog. Okay, what are we doing here? Search chests. Alright. That's easy enough. That's easy enough. How many chests do we have to search? Three chests. That sound effect means there's already someone here. I'll let them do what they want, because I do not care, because I'm only here for the chests. That is a bitch, ain't it? You just spawned, spawned that guy right there on me. You really, you really just did me dirty like that, didn't you? You really done did me dirty there. Assuming you'll let me stop rubber banding. That too. Yeah, I'm out. Let's go! Alright, so we'll, wa we'll wander around up and see what's up this far. So we never I don't think we've ever been up this way. We never went up this way. Let's see what's up here. We just need to search chests. Take down an admiral. And tr just hope like hell we can get credit for killing that boar. Because there's going to be 4 billion people on it. Anyone wanting to do this portal now? Because it's totally worth it, but doing that solo is not going to go well, so... It even says recommended players 5. Doing it solo... When I'm already two levels below, is not going to be a fun experience. It will not be a fun experience. Okay, so that's all quest stuff for the expedition. And yeah, it's just these three left. So what, what's next? So Morningdale's level 45. 
And then Requarter and Ebon Scale are like the final levels. Or the final areas. Not including the upper areas, of course. Okay. So we could conceivably head up to Morningdale soon. I'm sure I want to. I really, I actually really fucking like um, Restless Shores. It's pretty cool. I want to see what's up in this house. It's a cool looking house. Let's see what's up here. I bet there's some cool folks living in here doing some cool stuff. They let me up. If I can get up there, that is. Like, come on. You build a house here, you gotta be someone cool. Or it's an empty house with absolutely nothing of any value or note or worth whatsoever. Okay, cool. Alright, see ya. That was a disappointment. That was an immense disappointment. Ooh. Random spike cash though. I'll take that. Eh, hey, you big dummy, I stole your supply cash. I'm still actually looking for the other fast travel point in this zone. I have no idea where it is. Oh, I had more than tailing me than I thought I did. They're all dead. Except their corpses are blocking the supply cache. Hate it when that happens. Dude, I wish I could buy these houses. These houses are cool. Well, that was just unfortunate. Wasn't it? One arms are heavily damaged. Eh, yeah, well, it happens. The necklace, right? Yeah, well, no, it's not the necklace. What's heavily damaged? Oh, my spear's heavily damaged. Well, yeah, we'll repair it. So I'm not intending to replace that one for a little while. Oh, we got some wordwood trees. Nice. I'll grab some more wordwood. I'll grab some more wordwood. see any indicator as to where the fast travel point might be. This is clearly not it. I thought it might be over here. Because, I mean, it's like the base is here. That's up there. I don't know where the third one would be. I don't know where it would be. You just stay over there, cat, while I deforest your entire environment and leave you without a food source. This is a game made by Amazon, god damn it. Okay, well now you just Now you're just bringing out about your extinction early. No, it's not about planting trees. This is an Amazon game spoiler. It's about destroying the Amazon, not regrowing it. Duh. How else is he going to afford his penis rocket to space? What up? Come on, come now. Come on now. Well, Winswood lost its invasion too. That'll be another nice thing when we get more people max level. Because right now, pretty much, no, there's not enough people that can actually fight off the invasions. So, everything keeps getting de-leveled. Really annoying. Well, at least we'll be well stocked on Weirdwood. Another cat coming over the hill. Excellent. 124. Go discover this location. Why not? Is it there? Because you can see, like, there's like a beam of light coming off the fast travel point, so. Maybe it's over there? Poseidon's Plunder. Oh. Showy name, isn't it? 
They do love alliteration in this game, I'll say that much. They're big fans of alliteration. I mean, that would sort of make sense if that's what a fast travel point is. That's, I mean, even, actually, even then, it's still pretty damn close. Even then, it's still pretty close. It would be, like, right there if it is. It's, like, right there. I don't think it is. Excuse me, Mr. Alligator. Oh, I would love to get that Prisma Bloom, but... I can't be bothered killing this, croc this alligator for it. It's too much effort to kill alligators. They take, like, they take, like, a whole amount of time, and I don't like it. Cool statues, though. I'm just wandering up this way a little bit, seeing if that this is where the fast travel point is. Because you can usually tell, because it has, like, this hexagon around it, the fast travel points. But it also has, like, a little, um... It also has, like, the actual physical, uh... Oh, you can't see it, because it's blocking me. But there's, like, an actual physical, um... Symbol on it. Some gold ore, though. I don't know what, what that's there for. It's just, like, a random tree. Is that, is that square just on that tree? I don't know what's going on here. Either way, we found some gold. We found some gold! Which is basically useless. I'm just hoping we get some gems out of it. Okay. Well, I have... Because every zone is supposed to have two fast travel points. I have no goddamn clue where the second fast travel point is in this zone. It is beyond me. Because I'm pretty sure we searched, like, everywhere at this point. Unless maybe it's like... I no, I have no idea. I have no idea where it could be. There's one there, and then there's the settlement. Maybe this zone only has one? I can just look up a map and stop being lazy, but... I'm also lazy, so I don't want to do that. So why does this, like... Well, also, this area is cool. Look at this. Some more gold. Why is there... I don't know why this is, like, randomly marked as a location, but anyway. This place is cool, though. Fire chips up there. I kind of want to just go explore that, because it looks cool. Because it just looks so damn cool. We're not gonna get any gems, are we? This is why this is why you run the mining luck food. That's how you get the big gems. That's how you get the big gems. I wonder over there. See what's over there. Honestly, I should probably put a camp down. Let's see if we can't get a camp down real quick. Let's be responsible. I know it's a new look for me. If I can set up a little cheeky little camp here. Oh, it's not a tree I can cut down. Oh, that's not good. There's no wood. There's no wood. There's no wood around here. What are these bushes? Okay, these are bushes. We're good. Fort Damnation. Well, I mean, I feel like they really, really freaking uh, made they you know they dug their own grave with that name. I'll be honest. A little campsite up here. There we go. Now we can go explore, and if I get my ass killed, we at least don't have to run all the way back. Okay, so this whole place is part of Fort Damnation. Excellent. Well, let's just right, let's just go hard and find Admiral Rice. Now, you guys are all here chilling, but I'd really rather not fight all of you, because it'll take forever. Oh, whoa. 
But nobody puts baby in a corner. this admiral admiral you admiral no you're you're just a damnation quartermaster okay can you stop stun locking me sir i appreciate that He's like, he's a ways away, I think. It's like, is he, where is he? He's like, this, this might, this might be one of the ones where the map marker doesn't actually represent where he is. Yeah. Okay. Well, if I was a net guy named Admiral Reese in a place called Fort Damnation, where would I be? I'm gonna guess probably up on the pirate ship. Can you stop? Oh, leaving all those chests behind. Hurts my soul, but... I don't have time to stop and kill all these guys. It's gonna take too damn long. fact that they don't actually every every mob has collision so you just as soon as you do anything like that you just get locked in place what kills you every time is just you can't fucking move through the mobs so you're just like well i will just sit here and face tank everything because i can't can't move because they made the brilliant decision to have tons of tight narrow ways narrow things and full character collision it's just wonderful just wonderful Alright, I gotta figure out how the fuck to get up there now. Do, do. Nailed it. Bloody Grenadiers. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to kill all of these guys now, aren't I? Cool, can you let me move instead of rubber banding me? No, there's 40 enemies that I didn't even see that have just aggroed. Okay, well, never mind, we're dead. We're very dead. Because I don't even know where half these enemies came from. Like, I literally have no idea where several of these enemies were. Thank you, aggro system. Thank you for just randomly pulling mobs from halfway across the map to me out of nowhere. I'm out of good pots now, too. Excellent. Fantastic. Oh, fucking Christ. This is miserable. I don't even know if that's where the fucking Admiral is, either. That's what's extra fucking annoying. I don't even know. I don't even know if that's where the hell I'm supposed to be going. Okay, let's 
try this again. Climb it like you did before. Because I know you can do it because you literally did it before. There you go. Okay, well, let's try and do this before we land because clearly I got. Oh, excellent. Clearly, I'm gonna have to kill multiple pulls if this is gonna, if I'm gonna get there. Nah, we're dead. Too many of them. Where did this guy come from? Problem is, we're gonna have to sit here and wait for health to come back, but that means they're also gonna respawn. So, excellent, thank you, game. As soon as you get into the areas with like multiple enemies or multiple players, it gets the combat gets so just clunky. Alright. Okay, well, okay, you just jumped out of nowhere. Now we just gotta hope like shit the actual admiral's here. Is this actually where the admiral is? Yes it is! Okay, well. Yeah, the grenadiers. Still busted. Okay, there we go. Let's see if we can get this other one. If we, can, if we can get these guys off the board before we fight the Admiral, that would be a lot easier. Okay, well, there we go. He's just interrupted that. Excellent. Okay. Okay, what is this? Got the crazy resistance buff, but I can't seem to actually get rid of the charges on it. And there appears to be a random enemy that has just sprinted in out of literally nowhere. He's now locking me in a corner. Okay. That's like 17 attempts to eat my food, and now all the grenadiers have respawned. a big pile of fucking garbage, isn't it? That's just an enormous steaming pile of absolute fucking trash garbage, isn't it? Cool. Yeah, just... 
the spawn rates of the enemies is just fucking stupid. Like, okay, I'll just kill these enemies seven times because they spawn like eight times during the fucking fight. Like, Jesus Christ. It's fucking stupid. Just the random guys just running out of nowhere too. Like, oh, there's just now suddenly these guys are here. Like, okay. That quest is... So that quest is fucked. Let's go do the other ones. There's no fucking way. That's just stupid. And also that guy, he's got the buff where he puts the... He's basically indestructible when he's got the orbs, but you can't get rid of that buff on him for some reason. Usually it's usually he has like the orbs above his head and every hit gets rid of one of the orbs and then he can go back to being damaged. Couldn't get rid of his orbs, so it's like he was indestructible for most of that fight. Like, I don't... That's just fucking trash. Ooh, brilliant opal. That's what we're talking about. That's actual trash. So there's no, there's no point in going back there. I can't fucking, I can't. That's just a stupid fight. I can't do anything there. Because the enemies respawn so fast, it's not even like I can sit and wait. It's like I have to rush all the fucking way in there, because otherwise all the bloody mobs respawn behind me. Because the aggro system is so ridiculous that they'll just aggro on you from like five miles away. All right, well. Just like destroyed all of my gear. That's literally the exact same, but like one millisecond, be like one millimeter better. Like, <laughs> uh, well, I lose the armor rating because it's light, but it is a slouch hat. I do like that. Actually, damage absorption against beasts is better than the other one because I don't use that skill, so. Yeah, that, you can thank my bags for those. Give me random, random iron stuff. It's terrible. I clearly need to be over leveled, or you need to have a bunch of people with you for that one, because that's just a completely busted fight. Okay, what are we doing here? Search chests. Isn't this place where they were farming? Oh, if it is, it should be easy to search the chests. Okay. Okay. I can find the chests. Bloody crocodiles. Or alligators. Let these crazy kids handle all this. I'm just going to search my chests. You kids with your farming and whatnot. Oh, there we go. Easy. Let's get out of here. Why did like I still don't get why they're even dropping iron arrows in chests at this level. It's insane. All right, now we just got to go do the boars. Because there's no point going back to do that one unless there's a bunch of people here. <laughs> we gave it a shot, but I don't even have any. I used up all my health potions on that fight as well. Like, I don't even have anything left to freaking fight that. Terrible. Constantly respawning ads. He's got a seemingly infinite invulnerability phase. I don't even have. It's not even a big area you can fight him in either. It's like a tiny little area. Terrible. Doesn't help that the respawning mobs are grenadiers. Can't because you can't leave the grenadiers alive. They're completely busted. It's like an AOE range throwable that stuns you and does a ton of damage, and it's like laser guided. It's like you can't, you can't ignore that. Ditch the Shroud and Chunk Quest, actually. So that's like a max level quest of some rare gear. I don't know why I still have it. I can go get it later. Oh, fucking Sage Toad. Are you kidding me? Sage Toad's in this server? Oh, God. 
Oh god. Oh, I can't even abandon it. Oh, never mind. I can't even. I couldn't abandon it even if I tried. Get it yet? I don't know what I'm killing. I don't know what I'm killing, but by God, am I killing? Fire hail lasts a long bloody time. Holy shit. I just need the bows. I just need the bows to spawn now. The bows. The big bows bow. Big bows bow. Big bows bow. I'm assuming that's a big bows bow. It's a very big ball. Well, now comes the fun part where I have to keep doing it until I get credit. Because there's so many people killing it. Excellent. Excellent. Where's the big boy? Where's the big boy at? I need the big boy. Send him in. I need to get credit this time. I think poison and then the triple shot is probably gonna be the best way of getting the, getting the credit. Where's the big one? You son of a bitch! There we go. Alright. Well, we're not doing that one, so... I think we're done. 110 hours off. We should have a recall by now, right? Yeah, we'll do a recall. We'll do a recall. I guess purple's trying to attack uh, here as well. Purple's certainly trying to flag a lot of stuff. Which is cool. Fortunately, it doesn't really mean much. Because there's no way we can win the war. So it's just sort of like, you did it. You flagged it. You done did it, champ. Proud of you. Alright, we got that. We've got two at the faction rep. Hopefully, they don't give us another one for the expedition, because that would suck. Because that would really suck. So we're gonna get to four to five, and then we can. Then we can move on to Morningdale. Leveling goes a lot slower at this rank. To what do I owe this auspicious meeting? Okay. Well, I've hit the rank for- I can do the Kabbalist now. I can do the Kabbalist now. Ooh, quest is starting to unlock in Morningdale. It's starting to unlock. One's just a trial and one's like some other one. And it looks like the only other quest we have in this zone is that. Hey! Baka! Baka's here! 
Hell yeah. Alright, let's get this turned in. Cause yeah, there's no way there's no way I'm killing that Admiral Rice on my own. Unless I get a higher level. Get some better gear. Uh, da, 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 da. Those cut gems. Getting the cut gems though, that's nice. And all these refining reagents is beautiful. Honestly, we got quite a bit of word wood too, didn't we? Yeah, 221 word wood, that's not bad. Ooh, yeah, we'll go ahead and decon that. How am I even getting the iron arrows? I thought I only had the... Yeah, I only have the rifle, the shitty rifle one. I don't even have the shitty arrow one. Do, 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 do. Complete all missions. Um, I'm probably not gonna be able to get that. I'll probably get that one. Uh, I mean that's expensive. How much XP is that? That is a lot of XP. Thirteen hundred is a pretty good amount of XP. Jesus, fifteen star metal ingots. Damn. That's a bold ask, Jesus. That is a bold ask. I'm literally out of like all health potions. This is not good. Might be time for a trip back to Everfall. In fact, I think it's definitely time for a trip back to Everfall. We're gonna need to. Uh, we're gonna need to sort some stuff out. Mm -mm -mm. We got too much stuff. Oh, these these are nice ones. They're all nice and close. Oh, nice and close. Mm, okay. Let's see. How much do we? How much is it gonna cost to take all that stuff back? That's the first question. How much is it gonna cost to get it all back there? So let's see, we're gonna need that, we're gonna need that, we're gonna need all of this, we're gonna need all the all the cooking. We might just have to run this. It's gonna be too too expensive. I would guess. We'll leave the gold. I do not give a flying fuck about that gold. Or honestly, we can probably leave the thick hide there too. I really don't care about the thick hide either. I don't care about the thick the silk threads either, that can all stay. That's fine by me. Cause we have 700. If it's under 200, I reckon we cop it, because it is a long it is a long run back to Everfall. Oh, but there's all that hiss if I can sell back at Everfall though. Okay, wins again. Let's see. I'll bring that, I guess. Um, see, that could say I don't care about that. If I need, if I really do need that, I can just come and get it. How much is it gonna be? Oh yeah, no, we're probably gonna run it. All right, well, it's gonna have to be a long run. Let's go. Cause we need, we need dead back. Woo! He's always in, he, MRK's always in time for a drinking contest. He's always in time. An alcoholic is never late. He always rise precisely when he means to. He just doesn't leave when he needs to. Why don't you flag for PvP? Oh, there's a group of fucking level 60s. There's a group of level fucking 60 fucking... Covenant players all just sitting there. I 
wonder why. Oh, got him. She was drinking orange juice the whole time. What are we doing here? Search chest? Sorry. Let's get all these goods back to ever fall. Because we need to we need to do some crafting. And I definitely, definitely, definitely need to get my hands on some more bloody potions. Oh blew so many up in that damn fort. I'll do this one on the way out. Because this quest is on the way. We might as well get it done. Ooh. And then, excellent. How do this, sir? That'll do. Let's go back on our run. I'll be honest, it's not as big of a run. I mean, it's mostly a straight shot to ever fall. It's not too bad. It's still gonna take a while though. It's still gonna take a while. Is Barker in? <gasps> Barker's in comms and everything. Barker's back. Oh, I'm seeing Barker and he's just. Good stuff. What mind did we end up with actually? Oh yeah, we're back up to 7,000. See if we can move some more of this hyssop. I don't know why people buy the hyssop, but a lot of people buy the hyssop. Don't ask me why. Because I have no goddamn clue. I guess they buy it in Everfall, because it's hard to get in Everfall unless you know where to look. They just want to level their. They just want to level their arcana. Ooh, there's hemp here too. Oh, look at this! Look at this! Why do they buy this stuff? I don't know. You get it by the handfuls when you're gathering herbs. You use it for the com the weak health potion. So I'm assuming they just buy it to combine with water to level their arcana. But it's that's not very efficient. It's not very efficient. It's weird. But apparently people can just keep seem, seem to keep buying it. I just, I just want to get rid of it. So I got piles of the shit because I'm out here collecting herbs. I got so much of it. Is that a tiny little ironwood tree? It is. That's adorable. It's a tiny little babu ironwood tree on its own. Out in the wild. Very cute. Very cute. Should sell it in the city. That's what I'm doing. I'm going to try and sell it in Everfall where it's hard to get. Harder to get. 
That was like earlier in the stream when Neans was here, because I was like, oh, nowhere has an upgraded workbench. I can't craft my steel arrows, and there's such a markup on the prices, because people realize that. So then I snuck over to Cutlass Keys, I made a shit ton of steel arrows, and then I sold them all, and I made a lot of money. Because that's a lot of this game, is you can really play the market. You can really play the market. Although it's a hell of a lot easier to play the market when you know you're in a faction that doesn't... When you're in a faction that actually controls shit, unlike ours. It's a lot easier to control the market. Yep. Yep. Hopefully I can sell some of this stuff for money, because I'm gonna need more potions, because it's ridiculous. It's so annoying crafting healing potions. It's difficult to craft more than a couple at a time. Because you need, you need like, life bloom stems, and you need, or gleaming lodestones, which are, like, you can't get many of them. You can't get them in, like, large amounts. Is this that scene from Pirates of the Caribbean? Oh, no, these are... Oh, what am I watching here? Okay. I don't, I don't know what that was. I guess this is the PvP quest? I guess the PvP quest take you on this route? I don't know where the PvP... That's what I'm assuming they're doing. I don't know what the PvP quests are in Rest of Shore though. Because we seem to be flagging Brightwood, Weavers, and Monarchs at the same time. So I don't... I have no idea what's going on. No idea what's going on. We're in Weaver's Fen, though, right? So... Nah. It's a moving target. There's no point trying to hit it with the bow. We just gotta get from here to there. Don't worry, we already run this distance. Well, to be fair, we probably won't be stopping as much now. Probably won't be stopping quite as much now. I hate this place. I hate you so much, Weaver's fan. I hate even going near you like this. You're gross. You're disgusting. You're filthy. I hate it so much. Look at it. Look at that. Look at that disgusting place over there. Vile. Why would any re respectable person want to go anywhere near that place? Oh! I mean, this is this is the game. There's a lot of running back and forth. A lot of running back and forth. To be fair, it's because I got a big inventory worth of stuff. And that weight port and the porting porting with this much weight with the without the penalty or without the benefit from faction ownership is ridiculous. 280 Azoth is. I'm like I'm only at 300 weight and it's 280 Azoth. Like that's no. It's no bueno. Because you should have rawhide, shouldn't you? Might be able to get enough layered leather to actually craft some nice armor. Maybe. Because these elk, these elk give a lot of raw hide in the sun, so. Oh, that worked out. That worked out better than expected. Uh, I really have no need for silkweed. Like, I, I still have piles of silkweed that I've not used. <laughs> I do not need more. Because the problem is you need the low-level mats to refine the higher-level mats. So it's like, I've got piles of the higher-level mats. But I still need a shit ton more of the lower-level mats to do anything with it. I think 
the next thing on the agenda might be might be doing a bit bit of jewelry crafting because I my jewelry craft my jewel jewelry is kind of shitty right now. Get stone cutting and jewelry crafting up. Because I'm not worried about weapon smithing because weapon smithing is miserable to level. Arcana's Arcana I can't I, I I've struggled to find a good way to level Arcana. Like, Arcana seems to just be craft whatever you can. Like, there doesn't seem to be an actual good way to level it that I've found. Like, there's plenty of things I can craft, but none of them have very good Arcana. You get very good Arcana XP out of, so it's like... Usually worth like 70 or 80 at a time, so it's like, eh. Just craft what, I just craft what I can. It's really difficult. I mean, you can craft like the weapons, but they're ridiculously expensive. In terms of material resources, that's, that may be more efficient, I guess, but I don't know. Yeah, I think stone cutting, because level 100 we can do... Yeah, we can do the blue gems, which means I can make the blue, um... I can make the blue jewelry. Yeah, the tier 4 jewelry. And the platinum stuff, yeah. That does mean I'll have to go and um, smelt the platinum, but yeah, because we might be able, we, we should be able to make better jewelry. So right now it's like that necklace definitely needs a redo, and honestly, that's still constitution. I, I always want dex, so probably not a bad idea. I still don't have an earring, actually. I still don't have an earring. I think I can, I think I can craft earrings at hundred. So if we can do that, then we can get on top of the earrings as well. That might be the next plan, so we'll have to go and do a silver and gold route. Mm. I want to do the cutlass route again. Cutlass route is pretty good for gold. I guess if my primary my primary purpose is to get gems, that's probably better. So obviously I'll still be grabbing whatever iron I can, because you always do. You think I'm disrupting that? No thank you. I ain't bothering with that. This fan is corrupt enough. This this fan is already corrupt as shit. Let him have it. Let them have it. Burn it to the ground. I hate it. I don't want to go back there anyway. Drawn to cross the river. Ah, uh, back in Everfall. We're almost there. We're like halfway-ish. But still, it should be a straight shot from here. Mostly because I'm not going to bother getting anything along the way, because there's nothing in Everfall that I really need to bother gathering. Unless we're going to pass a farm. In which case, I might grab some stuff from there. Do, 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 do. What's the time? What is the time? 33. Because then we might have to might break, break, break and get some lunch. Well, we've been for three and a half hours. Maybe we'll just call it a stream. Maybe we'll call it a stream. I'll do a bit of crafting after we get back and we'll call it a stream. Because we did start, but we did start like an hour early today. I was on top of it. Well, if nothing else, it's a nice, it's always a nice walk. It's always a nice, nice view when you're walking. If only they added mounts. Which I mean, there's a heated debate about mounts. Some people are like, no, no, making you run the whole way is what protects the economy. It's what makes it valuable to take stuff in one place and sell it in another. Adding a mount would reduce the value of reselling stuff. I mean, like, I mean, yeah, you're not wrong. But at the same time, I'm lazy. <laughs> but but I'm lazy. Like I I, I I'm I'm lazy. 
I'm a lazy motherfucker, and I want everything handed to me on a silver platter. I like to be spoon-fed. I like my food to be chewed beforehand and baby birded into my mouth. Like, come on. Why you gotta- why you gotta come after me like that? Just give me my mount. Just give me my mount. Is, oh, right, that's the second expedition. Yeah, that's right, I still have the second expedition that's like 10 levels below me. And then we have the third expedition, which is there. I think the fourth expedition is in Morningdale. I think the final one's in Ebon Scale. I think there's five. I think it's five expeditions. Well, I'm not 100% sure. I've only done the first one so far. I probably should try and get the other ones done at some point. Just for the sake of trying them. We're almost back. We're almost home. Usually I don't bother gathering the nuts, but I've actually used quite a few of the nuts, so... Because the nuts, nuts are one of those ones you can use for a lot of recipes, and they're easy to get. They're easy to get. And I don't think I've seen any recipes that actually require them either. They're just like... They're just like generic. Same thing with like the berries. Berries, cranberries, blueberries, all of those are easy to find and you can just use them whenever. Maybe I should see if I can craft a high level fishing pole actually. So I think I think I'll have all the stuff I need. Not at the same time, am I gonna level fishing anytime soon? No, I'll probably level some other stuff first. Fishing is always gonna be my end game. So close. We're so close. Just think of the 300, like 280 Azoth I saved. Worth it. Oh, look at that tier one camp. What a plebby, what a plebby looking camp. He doesn't even have a tent. Ugh. I barely set foot. I barely set foot in Monarch's Bluff, even though that was the zone I started in. I didn't finish the quest in Brightwood, and I and I didn't do any quests in First Light either. I only did a couple in Weaver's Fen, which was gross. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Grab that. I always want the. I always want the moats. So that's the other thing I need a ton of to make the um, jewelry crafting stuff. I need the moats to refine these nuts. The nuts are always hard to see. See, so yeah, I'm getting plenty of nuts. So that's why it's like easy to get piles of them, but I just usually ignore them for that reason. So. Ah, there it is. The lovely town of Everfall. It is a pretty nice town. Alright, let's get everything dropped off and crafted. Then I'll go get some lunch. What am I going to have for lunch? Is a good question. I already had my sandwich yesterday. It was a good, good damn sandwich. Damn good sandwich. Oh, I could walk around and get a pie. Oh, I could walk around and get a meat pie. That sounds so good. Oh, what else do we have? I guess it'll just be sandwiches. Give some eggs. Give some bacon and eggs. That'd be nice. See, now I'm just making myself hungry thinking about thinking about food. All right. First things first. Let's make. Oh, let's make all the health food potions we can. I guess. See, we can only make three of them. Like, damn. Like, damn. Oh, we got, we got we can make some common ones at least. That's something. Take what we can get, I suppose. Uh, corrupted wards. Let's 
It doesn't even level your Arcana very well, but... Let's just get them crafted. Bet the highest level stuff I can craft to level Arcana, so... Okay, now we'll do our moats. Get these out of the way. Yep, we can't even do those. Whoa, we got plenty of soul moats at least. Life moats. See, this is what we needed. All these moats. That's the good stuff. That's the good stuff right there. Tell me where I belong. I've been searching all night. Walking these. Not good for our counter experience. I mean, it's a little bit, I guess, but. Okay, so that done. Let's finish refining our stuff over here. This is a jam. Uh, I won't make a rugged leather just yet, I don't think. I don't think we have any layered leather left, unfortunately. Yeah, we'll craft some stuff. Craft the hell out of the meat pies, that's for sure. Meat pies! See, now I definitely want a meat pie. Now I definitely want one. I probably won't make any of those, actually. Uh, probably stand to blow some of this stuff. We've got quite a lot of it. We're selling the light meals. It's just about getting rid of some inventory. Okay. That done. Now we gotta go do stone cutting and then we come back for jewelry crafting. We need to do smelting? Don't remember. Either way, the smelting and the woodworking here is too low level to do anything good, so. Do steel. Probably should do that. We need more steel. Do, do, do. I don't think we can do... Yeah, we can't do anything here. Workshop is un unupgraded. Man, Everfall's falling apart. Okay, let's do the fusing first. Alright, let's get these cut now. What we stick in the gems. For the stone cutting. The stone cutting level is pretty fast, at least, as long as you get the gems. It's a lot faster than doing it with stone, I'll say that much. I guess I could try it with lodestone. Maybe cutting lodestone will be faster. I don't think I'm high enough level to cut lodestone anyway, so it doesn't matter. Dude with the mustache right here. He's looking good. He's looking good. So we gotta get high enough. Because once we get to 100, we can craft these. And then we can craft the really nice stuff. Now let's go make our trash rings. Okay. Do, 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 do. I'm not making armor, I'm not making those, I'm not making those, I'm not making amulets. These are what we're making. I need more silver band by the look of it. It's like we're running out. Oh, yep, yeah, we're crafting the 20 of those. Oh, actually running low on silver ingots finally. It's alright, we can start using the gold if we have to. Because realistically, it's like 
if I'm going to craft something high level where I actually want to use the better materials, I'm already going to be using... I'm already at the point now where I'll be using uh, platinum over gold anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The only reason I want to save the gold is I'd need that to refine up to the platinum. Yeah, still only 93. Give flawed like has a chance to give me the flawed uh, potions so. or the flawed uh, the flawed um, gems that you can then recombine. Yes, yeah, many as you can get because slow to level that one. All right. Oh yeah, we got enough weight. There shouldn't be shouldn't be a problem fitting all this in. Shouldn't be a problem. Should be easy. Oh, we'll definitely sell that hyssop. I haven't stopped calling any more hyssop. Oh, yeah, dude. We got a lot of hyssop. We'll make a nice big sell order for that hyssop at dirt cheap. Should get, should get a decent little chunk of change out of it. away. 32 meat pies. Woo, feels good. Look like we've got two purple items, but now we've downgraded to green for some of them. Alright, so everything that's left we're going to be selling. And we still have 100 weight left in Everfall. It's nice. Okay, we're selling these light meals. They sell for dirt cheap, but anything to get rid of them. No, literally not even worth selling them, huh? Okay, well, we'll just toss them then. They'll be getting tossed then. I'll try and sell this one. I doubt they'll move for that much. And then, where's the hyssop? How much is the hyssop still selling for? People still buying this? Or is the price dropped? Where is it? H. Hyssop. Point 0.8. Let's try and sell it for point 0.6. We'll undercut the shit out of the market. Alright, well, light meals, you can go on the track, you can go on the ground. I could donate them to the homeless or something, or I could just leave them on the ground like that. Excellent. Another successful trip. It's still 708, it's still 160 to pull back. Wow, bro, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. But what matters is we got all our shit back here, which is important. But, now that we got all that done, we're at a four hour stream. I think we might finish up there, guys. I think that might be a good spot to finish on up. So before we finish up, don't forget, guys, we've got the daily chest. If you guys want to place the bet, get your bets on in. One minute left to do so. So get those bets on in, because I need a little break. I need to get some lunch. We started early. We've got a good four hours in. That's a good enough stream for me. It's a lot of fun. Alrighty, because I am getting very, very hungry right now. I'm getting very hungry. So thanks everyone for subbing by all the regulars, all the new people, all the old people. All the people that bet, all the people that uh, gave subs, followed, hung out. Really appreciate all that support, guys. Back again next weekend. Usual time, playing. Who knows? Who knows? Honestly, probably more New World. Probably be new, more New World for a little bit. Because I'm addicted. But we might get back into Valheim. We still got to go do. We still got a couple things we can do in Valheim. Might go hang out there for a bit. 
the boys want to come and hang out too. That'd be great because it's a community server. It'd be more fun if we hang out with people. But yes. All right, let's find out who the winner today was. That's in the wrong spot. Sheesh. Fix that while that's revealing. Yes. Engine Guardian number. Number, which number is that? Number, number nine. Uno Nuevo. Well, not Uno, Uno Nuevo. No way, that's still not right. Los Nuevo? Stop trying to remember that. Let's just go. Man, win a nine. But unfortunately, nobody got on number nine, but that means everybody gets 500. Everybody gets 500. Congratulations, everybody. So, thanks again, everyone, for stopping by. Really appreciate all that support. I'll catch you guys again next weekend. Hopefully, I'll see you all for that. Get up, get some food, stretch your legs, all that stuff yourselves. Take care of yourselves, and I'll see you guys later. Have a lovely morning, evening, whatever it is, wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you all later. Good. Bye.